Pull up, pull up, pull up. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. DTKA promotions all in the mother freaking ear hole. Jumping this thing off with a dark match. Let's get it, y'all. We got the females doing it for us today. So, I need y'all to take this time to make sure y'all getting those likes in. Make sure y'all getting those shares in. Make sure y'all following the fucking page if you're not doing so already. Go ahead and do that. Pull up, y'all. Let's get it. And I need some motherfucking cups up in the chat. Don't be scared. Scott Kyle, Alexa, what's going on? How y'all doing? Thank y'all for pulling up with us. He's still up in here. He's still up in here. Hey, if y'all rocking with us and y'all want updates and news and 2K22, I just need y'all to stay sipping right here. Tyke Lions, I see you. We got head hunters in the building, y'all. Pull up. Pull up. Oh, yeah. Little freak from Sin City. Hey, this one's gonna this gonna be a freaky dicky. This gonna be a freaky dicky. Tori Lynn with the share. Pull up one time. Give me a hell yeah. I said give me a hell yeah. What the fuck was that? Y'all already know, Mr. Luscious got a lot of Smoke money riding on day. this one. Probably not just riding on it, probably invested as well. Tyler Connor, po up. Po up, let's get it. Hold up, big baby. I what see you. Look at her. Look at she just making love to the mat. Just, just loving the mat. All, all in the mat. Let's get this thing popping, y'all. This is the go home show before the blood drive pay per view next week, y'all. I need y'all coming up heavy with us. Y'all know how we do things. This is DTKA Promotions, baby. Let's get it. Got Leona. Pamela the Freak, y'all. We got two. Well, I mean, both of them kind of Amazon-like, but one seems like a little bit more um, softer oh, skin than the other, God. if you know what I mean. But it's all good, though. Tyke Lines, I see you pulling up with that share, broski. Freakzilla coming out, putting a whole chest. They bumping chest. They bump and chest, she flips her over, grabs the leg, and oh, El Numero Uno with that light. Give me a hell yeah. Okay, Tyler, I see you. I see you, man. Pull up. That was legitimate. Hope everybody's having a good one out there. We got Leo Blades publicist in the mother freaking house. What the fuck was that? Oh, that Danny boy Chinlock on Pamela the Freak. We own the goddamn. Tight, sliding in with the light. Yeah, this is a dark match, so y'all may hear, you know what I'm saying, smacking of the fries, you know what I'm saying, of the French variety over here on this side. You know, take advantage of me. Now, being on Pam, but that's Samoan drop. The same way I dip those fries of the French variety in that ketchup. Andrew! Pull up, my G. Pull up, my G. Boom, yeah! How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Two, three. We on the down. Pamela working that shoulder. You know, we know that ain't no thing. We know that ain't no thing. At least for her. Six, seven, eight.
Pray with a little freedom, bad spot, tombstone, head first. Hey, I mean, ain't a lot of people who'd be wrong with that, Andrew. I'll see you with that like, man. Pull up. Making it back up. Almost didn't get it. Almost didn't get it. Y'all, Cousin Libra up in here and I have Nelson back breaker. Oh, she need that to make money, Riona. You might want to calm down. You might want to calm down. Since Pamela the Freak, formerly known as Freakzilla, to the outside of the ring. This is the last woman up, y'all. Pretty much the women's version of a last man standing. You know what it is. Pull up. Where them cups at? Where them cups at? Give me a hell oh yeah. Hey, Crystal, Kyle, everybody, all the sippers. Hey, I appreciate y'all dropping those followages. I'm going to need y'all to drop those again, though, once I get over on the other side of the camp to where I can catch all of those. So if I'm missing your sippage right now, I apologize. But, you know, that's just the, the deals of being in a, you know, going from Studio B to Studio A and working that. Once I get over to the Studio A side, I'll be able to... Uh, get to more of y'all sippers because we got to shout out we got to shout y'all out how long y'all been sipping with us matters around here pull up riona looks a little bit dazed and confused and she is wearing the proper attire that says so at least on the color side at least but boy oh she 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 trying to she trying to put freezilla in the unemployment line she is trying to put freezilla in the unemployment line I mean, when you're doing stuff like that to the back, you're interfering with the 9 to 5 or 9 to 7 or 9 to 9, whatever type of schedule Mr. Luscious has her on. Pamela, she down. She may be toting her bags back to Sin City full of L's. Leone in there and looking pretty dang confident. William Friedman, what's up? Here is your winner, Rowdy. Rod right Dunn, pull up. Pull up. And Pamela the Freak not able to make it back to her feet. Leona getting the dub ski. Let's go, y'all. Masin, Masin, y'all. We got a new sipper. Y'all know what that means. I need cups up in the chat right now. Let's welcome our new sipper to the family, y'all. Po up. Po up. Last time I got checked, I think that's 3,042 right there. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. And wait, what's this? We got some brewing backstage here. The boss and deuce from Blade Inc. Whoa, whoa! Whoa! The boss of DTK Promotions just got took down by the security of Blade Inc. What in the hell is going on here? I mean, talk about soon as fuck. The pay-per-view is next week. What beef could deuce have with the boss right now? What the hell is going on? Oh, and then he gonna flex on him? Oh, you son, oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you know you done fucked up, don't you? You know that, don't you? Yeah, you done fucked up. You know you done fucked up. Mm-hmm, you done fucked up. Yeah, you know you done fucked up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Deuce, walk in the boss over, and if it sounds like I'm a bit biased, it's because I am, because that man wearing that suit right now is the one who signs my check, so I'll be damned if you watch this back on replay. Ah. Against the old big dog, huh? 
And then what the fuck I'm supposed to do? Y'all gonna pull up on DTKA on a Sunday and we gonna fuck around and have a a fucking a Oliver doing commentary or some shit or a fucking a, 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 a Pete or a fucking or, or a Todd or something. You know what I'm saying? Nah, fuck that. Y'all need the Kool-Aid, man. Y'all need Archie in this bitch. And therefore, to do so, I gotta cheer on the man with the red tie. Dude's throwing him to the parking lot. Even security is taking off. I da da damn. I say, I say, I say, I da da damn. Dude's grabbing the boss by the neck, walking him to the parking lot. Whoa. Whoa, hold up, hold up. I don't know if that's Rude Boy Rufus' yeah. limo or if that's the boss's yeah. limo. Probably the boss's limo. After Rude Boy Rufus' incident, I'm pretty sure he, he, he probably Ubering up here now. Last time he got caught slipping in the parking lot, it was not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Ask the family about that. They know. They know. Ross making some comeback, though. 20 below coming in with that mother freaking light. That's what I'm talking about. Stone Cold stun those likes, man. Seriously, give the raises edge to that share button. You feel me? You feel me? Pull up. Pull up. You damn right. We're going to talk about my man Scott Hall today. Y'all just hold on. Y'all just hold on. We got 2K22 talk and some Scott Hall talk coming up soon once we get up in here, y'all. Let's keep it pulled up. The boss handling his business right now. Deuce maybe should have stayed next to Leo. Tory Lynn and all them because the boss is on that ass. Watch out for that, uh... Not sure if that, oh no, that, that's a Chrysler 300. I was about to call that thing an Audi or an Infinity. That's a fucking Chrysler. Now, Deuce, multiple head punches right to the boss's forehead. This man got some nerve. I know his big moose looking ass ain't up top there with an elbow, you son of a bitch. Y'all, uh, um, if, if, if checks are delayed this uh, week, uh, blame this motherfucker right here. Don't hit, no, don't hit me up. No, don't hit me up. Don't don't hit me up. This motherfucker. Uh, yep. See, he. Y'all gonna fuck around and have us in a uh, in a company meeting after the fucking show, and I don't want to fucking. God damn. Shit. Oh man, Deuce is laying it into the boss right now. I don't know what the hell to do right now, y'all. I really don't. Like, I'm damn near tempted to go run out there to the parking lot right now with the strap, but that motherfucker right there would probably grab that bitch, bend it in my hand, and bitch slap me with it. So, uh... Yo, oh, and the boss is up with a hurricane runner. Hold up, there we go. There we go. There we go. You don't need my help. You got it. You got it. You got it. Lauren needs some point up with the like. I see you sipping, man. Boss dropping multiple elbows. Doing it, doing it, and doing it well. Brings it around, slides back, perm slick, elbow drop, then dip. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Ball thrown back into that damn car and Mo punches to the forehead. This mofo here, man. Turns around, runs the trunk right into his dome piece. I mean, the chrome. Uh, yeah, we're gonna look up. You know, Deuce here gonna have a. Uh, he gonna be missing a comma on his check. You know, our shit may be late, but at least the whole thing gonna be there. He, he, he gonna be short. He gonna be, oh! So, so we just gonna ignore, we just gonna ignore that Chrysler sitting right there, right? We just gonna ignore that, huh? We, we, we just gonna ignore that right there. Ah! Damn, that's it, he done. He done. He done. Uh, he, he done. Security!
hell is really going on around here? Y'all, I don't know what the hell we just saw around here. It is already popping. It is DTK Promotions live at 5, number 62. The go-home show before the pay-per-view. And the heat's already, yeah, cranked up in this bitch, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. It is me, Archie Red. Give me the hell, yeah. all the smoke at the one side. Oh, I said, give gotcha. me the hell, We got lots of ass with and things to get to today, y'all. It's going to be freaking awesome as usual like as always but like i said Smoke earlier we got some things we got to get off our chest uh talk about real quick and get off our chest uh i talked about it on speaking of dtka on um i think it was either speaking of dtka or um uh, uh a sunday show i remember the news coming down right before i, I think it, i think it was i believe it was speaking of dtka where we mentioned uh scott hall in the hip i'm pretty sure it was speaking of dtka well, he's on life support right now and in the hospital due to complications with that broken hip. And if y'all been keeping up, which I know a lot of y'all have, y'all would know. Like, he, he's definitely in my top three. Razor Ramon, Undertaker, Bret Hart. Like, those are my those are my three. And Macho Man, Randy Savage. So, that, that's my four. I'm sorry. They're like, those are my four. Macho Man, Razor, Bret, and Undertaker. And... Bro, like, it, it, it's, it's crazy how shit can turn. And this is why, on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't just shit talk people, man. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of celebrity or not, you know what I mean? Like, just when people wake up with hate in their hearts and shit and just want to wake up and talk shit, talk shit, talk shit, it's because of stuff like this. You know what I mean? Here one day, you may not be here the next day. So, hope this is a lesson to not just the sippers watching, but everybody out there, y'all, be careful how you treat each other, watch how you talk to people, talk to people with respect, don't go around being disrespectful, don't go around thinking you're above anybody because at the end of the day, we all going out the same way. Maybe a little, you know what I'm saying, maybe a little, you know what I'm saying, different, but for the most part, you know what I'm saying, we all die at the end of the day, so let's just make sure we taking care of each other and treating each other right. Um, and we got that out the way. Ooh, also, yeah. want to give y'all an update on 2K22. We're still getting questions about, you know, when we're switching over, how we're going to do it. And we're going to be rocking with 19 because I know there's some of y'all out there who don't want nobody creating y'all characters. Y'all want to do it yourselves. That's cool. We respect that. Um, I will say before, right now with the way we're going, I'd say in a, probably about a month, I want to say in probably about a month or less, we will be completely over to uh, 2K22. I mean, we the belts are going to be done today. So belts are already gonna be done, kind of fast how that shit works, right? Then we have the uh, the arenas already said, gotta make a few minor adjustments. So now we just gotta get the characters over there and we'll be on and popping y'all. But um, hey, y'all didn't come here to see me talk and do all that bullshit. Y'all came here to watch some ass whoopings, thrills, kills, and Kool-Aid spills, which is also coming up next week on the pay-per-view, y'all. Let's go ahead and keep it sipping. Pull up. We in this bitch. Leo Blade making his way down here, cutting a promo, I guess. Okay, so, okay. No mercy. Let's get it. Pull up, y'all. We move fast around here. We move fast around here. Let's get it. Look, I see we already got chaos and stuff going on up in the chat. Solid who I made with the share. And a new sipper. Y'all, we got another new sipper. Poto's cups up in the chat right now. Solid who, hey, stay sipping with us, man. I'm going to give you your shout out in the proper way, the DTKA way. Leo Blade has some beef right now, though, and we already know what it is. We ain't gonna front. We ain't gonna play no games. We ain't gonna sit here and act surprised. We know who he beefing with, who he has the problem with. Let's go on and get it popping. Mention that name, man's name, and let's go. Warpath pulling up with the cuff. Let's get it. Calvin Ricks got him up. Let's get Fania Acevedo with the sip as well. Pull up. I probably butchered that. My bad. I'm sorry. Omar Omega, thank you so much for the like. Y'all, I need some more cups. We got the sippers rolling in. Flexor man rolling in. I see you, big dog. Hope you're feeling well, man. Keep doing your thizzle. 
Rose Cartel pulling up. And we got MBI in action tonight as well. Let's get it. Let's get it. Crystal pulling them up and everything. Oh, yes. We got MBI in action on the Go Home Show. Make sure y'all getting like them, hitting those stunners on those likes, shares, and all that good stuff. Sippers already doing their thing. We got new sippers rolling in. We got old sippers rolling in. Go ahead and pull up with that sippage. Now would be the time for me to go ahead and see that sippage. How long y'all been sipping the Kool-Aid? Let's go. And I told you it was coming, Jazz. Just go ahead and bring that man out. I told you. I told you. Quit playing with us. Quit playing with us. We know it's the champ. If you was watching, speaking of DTKA this past Thursday, these two had a match. And Warpath actually pulled a Leo Blade on Leo Blade. He had one of his homies come out there and do the run in. Yes, it was Mars. Mars came out and did that damn thing. Shout out to Mars. But Leo Blade also makes the case that he had nothing to do with his head of security, Deuce, getting into that fight with the boss just a few minutes ago, y'all. I mean, from backstage to the parking lot, it got really real. It got really real. Look at that. We got William coming in with 321 days sipping. Omar got faux folded. Po up then. Zach got faux tree. -tree. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Where they at, though? Rose Cartel, I'm just like you, man. Loving it. Tory Land pulling up big cups. That's what I'm talking about. I oh, mean, Rose Cartel been sipping for 515 days. 515. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I say 515, po up. Tory Land got 412 on it. She got 412 on it. Rush got 292. Leo Blade got what? 321. Appreciate that, y'all. Love that support right there. Love seeing those. Love seeing those. Leo Blade and Warpath having a few words before their pay-per-view main event for that DTKA World Championship. I mean, you can say what you want, though. Leo Blade has definitely wake, awoken the heavyweight division, a division that was once so silent, that was once so quiet, really didn't have shit going on, you know what I'm saying, in there for a while. And now has just completely just got a whole new shot of life. Intercontinental division doing what it's doing. The, the king of the Indies division is on the rise. Not there yet, not there yet, but it's definitely on the rise because them boys act. You got Calvin Ricks over there. You got Rude Boy Rufus over there. You got 20 Below. You got Mars the Champ. You got VJ over there. It's just a hell of a lot. Speaking of Mars and VJs, how about that Champ versus Champ match tonight? That's going to be very interesting. Mars versus VJ. Mars took the King of the Indies Championship off of VJ, but VJ then turns right around and grabs the Knockout King Championship. So he say, like it or not, motherfucker, I'm a king. That's going to be fire. That's going to be fire, y'all. We got some bangers tonight. Banger of a go-home show for y'all. Tahir Harris, pull up. What's good, my G? Yo, get at my man. Uh, Get at my man, Alfonso, bro. I went in there to try to grab uh, to try to try grab your guy, man, and uh, didn't have him up. Reach out to him and have him get that for me, bro, so we can get you up in here so you can be sipping with DTKA, bro. Hey, and if you got 2K22, man, uh, you might want to go ahead and start getting started on that character as well. If not, holler at us and we'll get started on you for you, my boy. Yes, sir. Warpath champ versus champ match. All up in that thing. Leo with a headbutt on Warpath. Hey, my man took a knee, but he said he ain't calling Kaepernick. He ain't staying down there. That man is back up. Double underhook. DD oh, no. That was just a double arm DDT. I thought he was about to go flip, flip, but Nick. Yeah, what's going on, Redican? Warpath pacing back and forth. And a knee right to Leo Blade's hairline. Y'all know how we treat Edge up, Frankie. That's what I'm talking about to hear, Harris. That's what I'm talking about, bro. 
Let them dreads fly as we spill in that Kool-Aid, man. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, a deadlift wheelbarrow neck breaker. Good Lord. I don't know who I feel most sorry for. The steps or the motherfucker who got hit in the forehead with it. Look like they was playing hot potato with it. Hot potato, hot potato, hot potato. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. That man say the Intercontinental Division belongs to Solidus now. Po up. Po up. Oh yeah, Rose Cartel creations be off the freaking chain. Be off the freaking chain. And Leo Blade comes in with the elbow on Warpath. Y'all, it's breaking down around here. It's time for some action. It's time for some action. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it, baby. Pull up. It is DTKA Promotions. Go ahead and hit that, y'all. First off, what we have is a Royal Rumble match because, once again, I know I mentioned DJ earlier, my man does not have an opponent for the pay-per-view coming up once again. So we're going to go ahead and settle this. We're going to go ahead and have a Royal Rumble match. Or a Kool-Aid Rumble, whatever the fuck you want to call it. We ain't really putting no name on it, here. You know what I'm saying? Rumble, young man, rumble. Do the damn thing. Whoever wins, number one contender for that Knockout Kings championship for going against DJ at the pay-per-view polling up. Let's get it, baby. Also, Est uh, Estefania became a new sipper. Solid who became a new sipper. Who that? Mosin, Mosin became a new sipper. Y'all, that's like four right there. That's like four right there. The mouth of the sound. Solid is pulling up with the 101 stars, man. Let's get it. Thanks for that love. Mr. Lush is the first one coming down pimping since big pimping since big pimping. Strutting down there doing this stuff. Didn't see Caroline Ricks coming here with that like as well, but I appreciate that. Pull up, let's get it. Oh yeah, yeah I know Mr. Lush is stay pimping and dripping. My man Redican up in there. Big pulled up. Big pulled up. Redican, where did you drop the. Did you drop did you drop the sippage, man? I know you got crazy sippage. Grady got 317 on it. My man got 317 days on the sippage. My man Kevin up in here. Big, big sipping, y'all. Let's get it. I am hype. Go home show for the pay-per-view. Mr. Luscious. Jumping this thing off and oh! Who in the nation do we got here? Niles, Kareem, Foxy Brown? Big brother, maybe? Who we got? Who we got? Got a lot. I love that video. My favorite video in all of DTK promotions is that nation video, y'all. I'm sorry, I fucks with it. I fucks with it tough and it's big brother. The fro that don't move. The fro that don't move. My man say he keep it black even outside of February. He say every month is February. Pull up. From Chicago, in at you dang right, Rose Carter. Hey, P H O J. P-H-O-J. That, that's a shirt right there. Pimp so Hand Adjusted. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that's that right there. That's that right there invented by, you know what I'm saying, my homie, Rude Boy Rufus. You know what I'm saying? But he just let uh, Mr. Luscious borrow it. It's just one of those things where sometimes you got to go borrow your shit back to get it back. Uh, but, you know what I'm saying? Just one of those deals. Just one of those deals. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big Brother definitely look ready. That man looks look ready, ready, ready. A shock with the light. Pull up. Let's get it. Oh, and you just got here. Come back, my man. Nah, I'm just messing with you, man. It's all good. Stay sipping with us. Big brother, Mr. Lust, is jumping off this rumble. Winner of this thing is the number one contender to face VJ for the Knockout Kings Championship next week at the pay-per-view, y'all. Let's get it. Mr. Lush is quickly putting those Stacey Adams to the gut of Big Brother and then a pimp had a justice. Damn, that was early. He wasted no time. That man wasted no time at all. That, I mean, good God, I mean, die, damn, he had that shit in his back pocket. Do pimps carry handkerchiefs? 
Because wherever he normally kept it, he had a pimp hand of justice waiting for him. He says, loan something to someone so long you can borrow it back. Yes, sir. And Giuseppe comes in. Big brother ain't having that. See, all, just, all Giuseppe was trying to do was put an end to black on black crime. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to hate on the Irishman for coming in here. And a knife edge chop doesn't fade, big brother. He's still up and ducks. Right hook straight to the jaw. Giuseppe grabs him by his mouth and beard. Giuseppe says, hell no. Mishaya, what's good, my man? A pop-up, gut wrench, down goes that man. King Mishaya making a run in. Goes after Giuseppe and gets fancy with it. Hurricane Runner, Mr. Luscious on Big Brother. King Mishaya going for everybody. He say anybody can get it. Big Brother don't give a damn. All he knew is that what nobody on him when he got out the corner. And he goes for Giuseppe. And here goes King Mishaya. Hurricane, you get a Hurricane Runner. You get a Hurricane Runner. Your mama get a Hurricane Runner. Your daddy get a Hurricane Runner. Your baby brother get a Hurricane Runner. Your grandpa get a I mean, this motherfucker just Hurricane Runner everybody out here. Yeah, Mr. Luscious, you're done, man. You know, it's hard out here for him. And you gotta get that money for the rent. Boy, boy, boy. And now the dirtiest shirt in the game comes in and gets a Russian leg sweep by an Irishman. The disrespect. <laughs> he said, that didn't take long for justice to be served. <laughs> Fuck yes, God, I fucks with it. I fucks with it. He said, I'm looking like Michael Jack on that Thriller album cover, except the shirt is purple. <laughs> you smell me? Now, Hades. Getting in on this action, pull up and goes for an elbow drop on Giuseppe. Ends up hitting King Majaya in the process. Billy Bob, Big Brother, they have some history. Well, really, the nation got history with the Redneck Originals anyway. King Majaya up there doing his Ronald Reagan. I am not a crook. Hades comes in and immediately takes out Giuseppe. Not this time, young man. Close line. The fro still didn't move though. Big brother made him to take five. Abraham, thanks for the like. Pull up. How you doing? Thanks for the love. Hope everybody's good. Hope everybody's good. Drop kick. Dang, Dollar getting in this thing. What the heck, bro? You know damn well you were not going to win. Matter of fact, what the hell are you doing out here, Dang? You have a match later. You're in the big bank take little bank match, hustling money versus MBI later, squad versus squad. What the hell are you doing out here, bruh? <laughs> boy, say, I know you ain't black, but I, I was, boy, I was about to drop back. Say, they ain't dollar make you want to drop a hand bomb. No, no. And now Shaolin King getting in on the action. That man say knees up. And now, dang, that boy, did I tell you your ass wasn't going to win anyway? I did, I, I did, I said I was right last week, I was right this week. I'm out here like Pinky in the brand. No, the hell he not. No, the hell he not. Oh, my God. No clip. Y'all better be clipping. Y'all better be clipping like y'all got fucking coupons in the drawer. Let's go. Shaolin King just picked up Big Brother and Sitsi. That right there is why you don't fuck with Bucks. See, they quiet. They quiet. A competitor has been Remind me not to smack this girl on the ass. Like, I don't want no problems with Shaolin King, bro. This motherfucker just picked up Big Brother and... That shit hit so hard, I need to lunch break. Right, pull up. A competitor has been eliminated. I see that. And now Muhammad in close line takes down Billy Bob. Can he redneck anything? So we got two redneck originals in here. I wonder if they gonna go at it though, because there is a knockout Kings championship opportunity on the line. Muhammad, we saw last week, tried to get the dub, 
against uh, Outlaw Rod Dunn, but Outlaw Rod Dunn ended up getting the better of him in that cage match. King Majaya is on the outs. Shaolin King with a clothesline sends Billy Bob out. So it looks like those two do not meet. Kenny Redneck ain't got nothing to worry about now. And then there were three. Kenny Redneck, Shaolin King, Muhammad. Who's it going to be, y'all? BJ, you are looking at your next challenger right now. One of these three it's going to be. I said give me a hell yeah. L. Tommy Watson pulling up. It was at this moment that he knew. That man pulled up with a like and a share. Shaolin King very fluid on that move he put on Muhammad not too long ago. That shit was nice. Caught him in mid stride, but it don't even matter because right now he's under the rope. Muhammad jumping knee strike has the man down. And a famouser straight from the mother. Well, I don't know where Shaolin King from. Actually, I know he told me, but y'all know I smoke a lot, so I forgot. But Chris the Air came through with that share, though. That's mean though for those of y'all who don't know. Muhammad said he wants some gold. Meanwhile, King Redneck looks like he just wants some beef. Zach coming up with some cups, you damn right. That boy good. Kick to the gut for Kenny Redneck. Kenny now has Shaolin King down with a kick right to the back of the knee. Thought he was going to go for a stump puller there. Muhammad, the last thing Muhammad needs to be doing is pandering to the crowd right now. He needs to stay focused. I know he wants to hold gold, and it's been a while. Kenny Redneck up by Shaolin King. Are we about to witness that Shaolin strength? Oh, yeah, Kenny Redneck done. You not with Muhammad and Shaolin King on it. We saw that motherfucker choke slam big brother by his damn self. Get real. Get real. Crystal King cheering on a man saying, come on, King, pull up, pull up, pull up. Let's get it, Zach. I see you with those cups, man. Shaolin King going for those kicks. Laying them in and down goes Muhammad. So look, even I was locked in like, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> Gotta figure out what the hell is really going on. Tory Land with the cups up. I see you. Shaolin trying to catch Muhammad slipping. Did Muhammad cost himself an inner or a knockout kicks championship opportunity by hopping over that rope? And no, the shoulder tackle saves his life on that one. I thought Shaolin King had that one, y'all, for real, for real. I thought he had it. Both men are freaking tired. Now they walking around like, okay, shit really got real. Shit really got real. Shaolin King checking his moccasins. Muhammad tightening his bootstraps. Who's it going to be, y'all? Who's it going to be? Who y'all got? Y'all think it's going to be Muhammad or y'all think Shaolin King is going to be challenging BJ for that Knockout Kings championship? Either way, it's going to be lit. And it would, a big statement it would be for Shaolin King to do so with the statements that he's been making since showing up here in DTK Promotions. But it's also something that Muhammad needs very, very badly. Because with Leo Blade coming in and doing what he's doing with the heavyweight division, Muhammad wants to be on that, uh, on that blood drive pay-per-view card. And I'm pretty sure he would much rather it be for a championship than just some dark match. So you know he wants that. You know he wants that. And I mean, shit, you ask me, if you were to tell me, if you were to tell me, hey, Art, I know you're in the heavyweight division, but you have a chance to hold the Knockout Kings championship until your time's come. I'm taking that shit all day and twice on Sunday. Oh, my damn, would you look at the date? Whoa, and a German suplex lands right on his neck. Shaolin King ducks, kick right behind the knee, or right behind the knee. That, 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 that damn. Look, that was a speak -o. Whoa, and a neck breaker. 
The Monk is checking his kitchen right now. Forearm uppercut. Muhammad dazed and caught again, slipping by Shaolin King. He's not done with that man. Goes up, regular, traditional, dropped him, dropped him. I, I, who, who's it gonna be on this one, y'all? They, they still in this thing. He says these two guys would both be good opponents for BJ. Yeah, e either either one I'm sold. Either one of these guys I'm sold, especially from what we've seen on Shaolin King. I mean, he's been on an elimination freaking craze right now. He just, he, I mean, just in there. He's had to eliminate like three people already. Was dazed for a second. Not sure if he was faking it. Punch like that to your shit will definitely make you dazed if you wasn't already. Now Shaolin King's in the corner. A bad spot and out he goes. Muhammad, after suffering disappointment last week, bounces back this week and will be facing VJ for the Knockout King Championship. Damn. Talk about an upset. Talk about an upset. Pro up. Pro up. Oh, my God. John Sanchez with the light. What's happening, man? I know I don't give a fuck. Here is your winner. Sorry, y'all. I'm hungry like a child. A third world child is in the free lunch. So, hard me. I don't know about no mania, my man, but the blood drive is hell definitely hell in your future. I said give me a hell yeah. Thanks for that like. I appreciate you growing up. I'm sorry I will say your name, but I don't want to butcher it. I have respect. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let that I'm gonna let that one roll, but I really do appreciate the like. Thanks for being here with us. Give me a second, y'all. I will go ahead and get that poll up. Now, I see four people say they are not getting 2K22. If you were any of those four people who said you're not getting it, I need you to pull up in the comments and tell me why. Especially if you're part of DTK Promotions already. Pull up one time for the one time. And if you don't plan on getting, getting it, then your ass need to reach out to one of our creators so we can get your character made for you. Oh, yes. Speak of the devil, up next, we got Crystal King versus America Chavez. I ain't even gotta tell you how it started because y'all were here last week. Y'all saw what went down. Making her Matter of fact, to the fuck ring. It. I'll tell y'all anyway. Columbus, so, Ohio. if you wanna speak it up, DTK Crystal and show. King. Yellow Mountain Crystal King start going at it. End up having a match. America Chavez doing her usual shit. Decides to do a run in on Crystal King because Crystal King had name dropped her. On speaking of DTKA. And now we here. And now we here. But what I wanna know though, Boom, what I wanna yeah. know, like is this kinda like a finale or are we like are we still getting a match from them at the pay-per-view? Because I I, I I would love to see that, but then again, I'm not in control of that. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag thigh meat and yams. John Sanchez pointing up with that like as well. I see you. Look at those cuffs. Let's get it. Butler says, Muhammad, you fought well, but if you win the Knockouts Championship, I will be waiting. Butler telling Muhammad he'll be waiting just in case. Calvin Ricks, I definitely agree. I'm definitely rooting for Crystal King on this one, man. I'm not rocking with the shit America Chavez has been on here lately, my guy. America Sweetheart. He says, my Xbox died Friday night. Gonna have to buy the Series X. When I can find it. Oh man, that's all good, but we already got your character made, bro. So you solid. You already ready, Freddy. Definitely sorry to hear that, man. So if you do a ladder match between those four folks and I get the game for the winner, I will personally make this one. Oh shit, hold up. Hold up. And Muhammad with his eyes open, like, okay. So he definitely heard the message. He definitely heard the message. Of course, Elijah and the family's ass would be rooting for America Chavez. And Crystal King. Bottom of those Adidas going straight to... No, those Air Maxes? I think those are Air... Yeah, those are Air Maxes. 
Okay, yeah, I'm definitely rooting for Crystal King on this one. Anybody who can walk out to the ring and whoop that ass in Air Max, hey, Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. And now we got, we got Go America chance from Yellow Mountain. So, and that was another thing, like, with that, with the run-in, after the run-in last week, you saw America Chavez and Yellow Mountain celebrating together. Now, we know America Chavez is a heel. Yellow Mountain was a baby face, or is still a baby face, but is she making the turn, or what? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Her turn for America Chavez tells me that we may be in tune for a surprise. You say, nah, Archie, they'll be retro LA gear. Hey, well shit, shout out to the 90s then. Pull up. Pull up, going way back. That just shows y'all how old I am. Anytime I go think retro, I still go to the 90s. I completely skip over like, you know what I'm saying, 2010 down and shit. Like, cause that shit just don't feel retro to me. Now, America Chavez. Crystal King on the outside and that over the head, belly to belly. For those of y'all watching SmackDown, y'all know that that had Big E suffer a broken neck. And uh, right now they're saying that his career may be over. We're not really sure yet. Uh, we just gonna have to uh, stay tuned for that one. But uh, I won't go into a lot of depth on that. I'm gonna save that for Thursday's show. I'm speaking of DTKA. America Chavez grabbing some furniture and a kendo stick right to the forehead. And all and female and, and females. Well, I ain't gonna say all females. The females here in DTKA got respectable hairlines, so you don't want to push that back or have that thing like mud sliding. You know what I'm saying to the other side. So, so, so I would be very offended catching a catching a kendo stick to the hairline if I was Crystal King. That that's just me though. Yellow says she stay in the '90s or the '50s. Po up. Because of all the Miami superstars here in DTKA, America is by far the worst. Outlaw Rod Dunn, Crystal, and I know that to be true. Oh, Poe up. Oh, so what you telling me? So hold on, you telling me the uh Outlaw Outlaw Rod Dunn got them uh got them America Chavez uh Gluteus Masters? And that punch has Crystal King down, y'all. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. Crystal King has a one, has a two, and Crystal King. Kicks out at a two count. She's still in. America Chavez can't believe it. You're going to have to do more than that. I don't want this chick to win. I do not want this chick to win. Yellow Mountain got 871 days. Pulled up sipping with us. Quincy coming in with the pull up, pull up, pull up. She did the super chica punch. <laughs> Sound like a dance go with that. What I miss? Oh, Quincy, you know better than to come in here asking that question, man. If you're curious about what you miss, you got to go back and watch the replay afterwards or go catch the YouTube, my brother. You know we don't do recaps. And if you do want the recap, it is Thursdays on Speaking Up DTKA Promotions. And we got you, man. Majaya, pulling up big cups. Why do I feel like America Chavez is trying to conceal her thigh meat? Now that I think about it, has she been a heel this whole time? How dare she conceal the thigh meat? I mean, she got like those fusion uh, Daisy Duke songs with the roll up. And then underneath that, she got the MMA shorts. I'm sorry, I think America Chavez has been a heel for a long time now that I think about it. How dare she, how dare thee conceal my thigh meat? You just don't do that. Hold up, Quincy. That's what I'm talking about. Four cups, man. Four cups, my man. All right, Christian, pull up. Chambers walking through the door with the A. Hey, yo, what's happening, man? Crystal King delivers a knee right to the back of America Chavez and then stares out there to the Sippers. Ali Jr. in the same damn spot. Jennifer with the like. Thank you so much. Po up, po up, po up. How you doing? Yeah, Crystal King on that ass now. She on that ass now. America Chavez. In a bad spot. Somebody check that back. Somebody check that back. Her and uh, Pamela the Freak may be in the same hospital bed. 
or like side by side, you know what I mean? Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about, although I mean, <laughs> you know, the same. Chamber saying the real I see champ is here. Aw, oh, shit. So now Chamber saying the same thing that Solidus was saying when Chambers had the belt. For those of y'all who don't know, we have a triple threat match coming up next week on the Blood Drop pay-per-view between Omar, Chambers, and Solidus for that Intercontinental Championship. That's right. What we saw this past Thursday, that wasn't no championship match. That, that wasn't no championship match at all. That was just like bragging rights going into it. You know what I'm saying? Build your stock up. But then, hey, this next Sunday, off the chain. It's DTKA pay-per-view. That's all that needs to be said. And American Chavez with the Jays right to the face of Crystal King. And then she's going to grab him by the hair. The disrespect. Oh, my Lord. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Now, Quincy with the share. Pull up. He said, oh, let me say, hey, Silas, with the response, say, yeah, I've been here. Pull up. The shit talk is real. Now, America Chavez rolling Crystal King over. Uncle Charles going for the one, going for the two, and the... America Chavez with the dub. And as we can see, Crystal King just as disappointed as we are. You can just hear the air sucked out of the freaking fridge right now. Crystal King just looking just felt like I can't believe this bitch. I cannot believe this bitch. Crystal, yeah, y'all better watch Crystal King about to come with a strap. David with the, oh, he like shaking my dang head. I feel you, man. But up next, what we have is the Divine Rapture versus shit out of luck pulled up. But neither one came alone. It looks like the Divine Rapture has Warpath with him. And, <laughs> of course, SOL has Leo Blade right by their side. Now, we saw Leo Blade and Warpath get into it earlier in a promo. What started out as a war of words leading up to the pay-per-view ended up with punches being thrown, clotheslines being thrown, TV. Nah, no TVs being thrown, but y'all know what the hell I mean. It was going down. So this is going to be very, very interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm loving the build-up. I'm loving the build-up that we have going on here. Y'all pulling up heavy. Valentine Van Sice with those cups up and sipping martinis. That's what I'm talking about. Got to let them know, because it's about to go down. Stay sipping. Grady throwing tomatoes in the chat. Hold on, who they going to, though? Who those tomatoes going to, though, man? Rose Cartel got cups up in the chat. Po up. Po up. It says, is the family being snubbed in the tag team division? Oh, no. Oh, no. What do you mean? They just, the family just got a dub. The family just got a dub. Um, who was that they beat? Um, let me check my uh, powerhouse. Straight up whooped that ass last week. I mean, it was some back and forth up in there, but, you know, they came out with the dub. You know what I'm saying? You was probably out there with too busy with them chickens, though. You know what I'm saying? To keep up. Look at that. I got hashtag blood drop. I got cups in the chat. Everybody beats powerhouse, though. Damn. Damn. Well, then. I didn't drink nothing, but there's some fucked up Kool-Aid backstage. Well, who you saw sipping it? Throw that shit out quick fast. 
Thanks for that. That's what I'm talking about right there. Pull up. Pull up. We got hashtag blood drop in the chat. Let's get it, y'all. He says, if Wesley fails this week, I'll be looking and beating some sense into it. Oh, shit. Tyler ain't playing no games. Wesley better get it together. Wesley better get it together. That man don't seem like he's playing at all. Oh, the getting fucked up Kool-Aid is backstage. Oh, okay. Okay, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Oh, hell yeah. The bad guy, Leo, played. And at a combined weight of 631 pounds, Gorilla Now, Leo played a company in Gorilla and Hill and Wyatt Jones. Jones. Blade incorporated in the ring. Well, not in the ring, but making their way to the ring, I should say. What I want to know is where the hell did Leo Blade go find these guys? Because I feel like he took a trip to the Middle East and grabbed him some vets. And was like, hey, I got an assignment for y'all. Fuck that other stuff, y'all. And I have an assignment for y'all. Oh, that man said I answered the trick. Oh, for it. Oh. <laughs> ah. Grady out here throwing maters. That man out there throwing to miners. That man say found him in the bargain bin at Kroger. Damn. Uh-oh. Divine Raps are talking shit. Bell ain't even rung yet. Kool-Aid Cam's catching a, catching a glimpse of Claude Thomas out there in the crowd. I peeped homie with the red shirt out there. That's a super simple. Uncle Charles rings the bell. Now nah, double leg takedown, Wesley Allen. Must have heard what Tyler Connor was talking about. Tyler Connor says if this man don't get his shit right, he gonna beat that ass. Who in the fuck was that? Tarye Fod with the light. Pull up, how you doing? Butler, boo that man! Now, a clothesline from Gorilla Hill has Wyatt Jones down. Tyler Connor on the side, you know he's observing. He better get it together, though. Leo Blade on the outside, rooting on SOL, the tag team for Blade Incorporated. Travis pulling up, doing that damn thing. Job so broke. Job so broke. Let's get it, man. Justin! Pull up! Pull up! How you doing? You mean Travis pulling up cups? Hey, Justine, I'm an Apex guy now. That's right, Yellow, not playing no games. Gorilla Hill is playing no games. Quincy pulling up with the like. I see you, man. Now Wesley, kick to the abdomen and turns Gorilla Hill around. Followed by that neck breaker, going head there. That man reached deep into the Barney bag and pulled that shit out. Butler with some words of encouragement for Tahir Harris. Oh, you already know it, you already know it. Says, and I'm really good. Spring break just started, and oh, we'll have to get some Apex in. Most dev. Most dev. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Kool Aid Squad been getting your boy on it. Shout out to my boy Isaiah for getting, you know what I'm saying? Getting your boy hooked on that. AKA Mr. Luscious. Also, Simplers, thank y'all so much for those plugs that y'all are dropping in the chat. For the YouTube channel, make sure y'all subscribing and turn on and turning on the notification bells for those as well. Also visit drinkthekoolaid.net, not just for content, but Kool-Aid merch. I ain't sporting none today, you know what I'm saying? I'm, rock, I'm rocking the V. You know what I'm saying? Rocking the V-neck today, but actually, this actually goes well with my with, with, with the drip, so I, I'm gonna have to add this to my, you know what I'm saying, to my daily. I'm gonna have to add this to my daily. Scott say, where the pole at? Oh, damn, you know what? You sure right. You sure right. You know what? You know what? Scott, if you was here right now, man, I would hand you the baby powder, pull it on your hands, and let you slap my bitch ass with it. My bad, man. My fault. You're right. You're right. Pole is now up. Now, Wyatt Jones is in, gets a drop kick. Oh, and then a missile drop kick. Wesley Allen. 
going in with a bit of pep in his step. Warpath looked like he's ready to get in on the match. Tarye five with the sip. Y'all, we have a new sipper. I need y'all to throw up right damn now in that comment section. Can we get some cups up from a man? Tarye five, our new sipper. Let's get it. Let's get it, y'all. Welcome to the family. Now Tyler Connor with an Irish whip. Tags in. Oh no. Wesley makes the tag to Tyler Connor. Tyler goes in, pops up right into the arms of Wesley, and a close line delivered to Jack from Tekken 2. I mean Wyatt Jones of SOL of Blade Incorporated. And here goes Gorilla Hill. And now Wesley coming in, having Tyler's back. Hey, hey. Tyler Connor, I don't know what pep talk you gave to this man, Wesley, but hey, I'm going to tell you like this right now. Even if y'all lose, d d d don't, don't beat his ass, bro. Don't beat his ass. He's, he's, do he's, do he's doing his thing, man. I let, I I'm going to vouch for him on this one. He's working, he working hard out there for you, bro. W Wesley's working hard out there for the Divine Rapture right now. I got to give him props. Got to give him props. Justine pulling up Big Cups. Love it. Love it, y'all. Know I love Big Cups. Look at that, 20 below with the blue hearts, even the flex on them. That's what I'm talking about, man. 20 below, flex on them. Welcome them to the fam the cool way. El Numero Uno, Elijah Church from the family. Majaya pulling them up. William, look at all those sippers welcoming our folks to the fam. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's love. That's love. Now, Gorilla Hill with another save. Alexa Rain, 140 days on that sippage. I see you. I see you. Divine Rapture with the praise and worship stomps. <laughs> no collection plate included. Now, SOL, Wyatt Jones, well, thought he was on the bounce back, but Wesley says, not so fast, my brother. Somebody threw a chair in. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where the hell that chair came from. I really don't, but damn. <laughs> I say, boy. Wesley tagging Wyatt directly into the job, but why? I'm not sure exactly what the hell he grabbed. I mean, nothing but neck and bald head back there. German suplex. Wesley must have some weight to him because Wyatt Jones was not able to get all of that. I don't know if y'all peeped it. He says, my client White Knight says, Wilbur Rufus is about to get these Air Force Ones up. Is it? Bro, hold on. I got something to say about the nights at the round table. Hold on. First of all, where the hell are y'all from? Because yesterday it was Tim's. Today it's Air Force Ones. What the fuck is it going to be tomorrow? Sacconis? Like, I, what shoes, what sneakers are y'all wearing, my man? Hold up. Thanks for the like, though. Chris will say she'll be our beat. Get some Kool-Aid and nachos. That's what I'm talking about. He said the forecast did mention a, rain, a chance of raining chairs pull up. Pull up every time. Hey, bro, you know what's black folks, man. We just get up and just walk out there in that shit. It's like we, we, we wake up, we open the door, stick our hand out with the temperature light, look for rain, and shut that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Didn't check no weather. I'm going to say them dad bod ones. Tyke Lions back up in this thing. Alfonso, what's happening, man? Pull up. It's all good that you late. Just make sure you hit that like and that share button, though. Pull up. Now, Wesley got Gorilla Hill in a very compromising spot. Uncle Charles trying to see if he going to tap. Gorilla Hill say, hell no. Nah. All I do is beat on my chest. Gorilla Hill out here doing the Kerjack. Still not letting him go. Another German suplex. That man ain't done. Gorilla Hill is not done. And another for Wesley Allen. Pumas, Jays, Tims, Nike, Converse, Adidas, Reebok. K-Swiss, the ones that you stomp and they light up at the bottom of them, because we are the management office of all nights that is owned and managed by Quincy, a.k.a. Deadly Night. All right, well, you tell me who the fuck they endorsed by so I can hit them up, because if y'all got Tim's, I'm going to need those in multiple colors. If y'all got Forces, I'm going to need y'all to fuck with me, because I'm going to need shoes not just for me, but the whole motherfucking DTKA roster. Custom. 
custom, do you hear me? And I need y'all on that Amazon delivery. You know what I'm saying? So yes, if y'all tell me seven, if y'all tell me my shit gonna be here in seven days, I need my shit in three. You know what I'm saying? Whole squad. And the right sizes too. I don't want no have to do no go backs, cause y'all sent a fucking a, a size three when it was supposed to be a size 13. You know what I'm saying? So hey, fuck with us though. Fucks with us though. Majaya say, uh, feelers and fat farms, bro. Get the the feelers can stay. The fat farms. Yeah, I don't know about the, I don't know about the fat farmies. Get whatever you want on your sneakers, but right now Tyler Connor just went for a last ride from Gorilla Hill. Now goes the one, the two, and Tyler kicks out, y'all. We still in this thing. We still in this thing. Wait, great crops, lugs. Oh my damn. Oh my damn. Y'all done brought the Crocs and the lugs out. I'm done. I'm done. But right now, y'all need to go take y'all's car to the mechanic because Quint Gorilla Hill is out here stretching mufflers. And apparently Tyler don't want his mufflers stretched. All the blood draining to the head right before the jackhammer is applied. Tyler Connor just looking down. Wait a minute. Wait. That's a beaut. Oh, shit. Tyler Connor getting real, real sinister out here. And I know Mr. Wade ain't got shit to do with this, but good God. He said, man, shouldn't be wearing Uggs and then David say some shacks. Oh man, you do the Texas two-step and your heels gonna be talking to you. Sideways. Now Tyler Connor stretching that arm again on Gorilla Hill and more knees to the back. The Divine Raptor have taken complete control of this match. It seems like SOL are having moments, but that's exactly all they're having is just moments and nothing else. Huh, Calvin, do you peep it? I'm peeping it as well, man. The Divine Rapture are definitely trying to send some kind of message here. Some kind of message here. Now he's going for a drop kick and misses, which completely sets up perfectly for Gorilla Hill with that shoulder tackle. Now throws Tyler Connor into the SOL corner, knee right to the chin. That man said, sit down. It is dinner time, and another kick, and another kick, and a knee to the throat. Damn. It was a fuck any type of cowboy boots, <laughs> respectfully. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I am dead. I am freaking dead. Y'all doing the food today. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, y'all. I know the paper. I know the pay per view gonna be live, so I know we gonna hit 2,000 comments on the pay per view. But we need to get this go home show turned up just as well. Let's see if we can pull up on 2,000 comments this week, y'all. Let's show them how we are gonna go out in style. We are gonna go out in style because next week ain't no ifs ands or buts about it. We turn it all the way up. Hashtag Blade Ink pull up one time for the one time. I see you sipping. Wyatt Jones looked like he was ready to hit, hop, and Tyler Connor said, you yeah, gon' stop. Now makes the tag to Wesley Allen, goes up, and now Wesley Allen gets his turn to bounce off the ropes. Down goes Wyatt Jones. Now, Wyatt, going for the cover, one, two, and right on fucking schedule. Here comes Gorilla Hill with another motherfucking save. Now, y'all know damn well Kerjack was not saving Tarzan in them movies. He forever left that little motherfucker on his own, even when that little motherfucker grew up. I'm sorry, I know that was probably, probably like a bunch of little motherfuckers kind of back to back, but I'm a Kool-Aid man. It's what I do. Wyatt Jones taking out Tyler Connor with that neck breaker. He rolls out. That chair is still just sitting over there, but whoa! I don't know if y'all ever saw the Discovery Channel, but there's this tribe, I don't know where the fuck they at, 
They put like these gold rings around their neck and it stretches it. That, 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 that is the, uh, the tribe that Wesley Allen belongs to now. And um, that's involuntary. Carolyn Rick say Tyler got a dope barber. I know I told, hey, you know what I'm saying? He came in on a uh, DTK promotion show. You know what I'm saying? Or speaking of DTK show, called in about that and dropped a plug on that. Yeah, but man, hey, he, he, he nice. You know what I'm saying? Got, got me right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all see y'all see y'all see the fade still, still doing the damn thing. Cody with the like, pull up, man. Now Warpath up here talking shit to Wyatt Jones. Uh-oh, and Leo Blade, he's staying way over there. Leo Blade has stayed over there. He's not getting in any of it. And now a chop block, Gorilla Hill got it earlier. This time, Wyatt Jones gets it. Slides out, slides back in. You know, I do that maneuver every night. Iris Whip sends Wyatt, or sends uh, Wesley Allen to the SOL corner, and that man may very well just be shit out of luck because that SOL goes up and down. That shit hit so hard. It knocked Uncle Charles' britches loose. But Tyler say, nah, shit, fuck that, keep it going. We ain't done. Tyler Connor say, we ain't done. He said they call giraffe people. It, what? <laughs> the, nah, 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 it ain't them. Be more, you way off. Is who you got in the fight, Wyatt or Mike Jones? Who? Who? I said. <laughs> now, Gorilla Hill on Tyler Connor. Has him up. Going for that Irish whip, sending him right back to that SOL corner. Going for it one more again. Tyler say, no, you ain't about to get me. Oh, no, sir, he Bob. Eh, uh eh. -uh. Uh -uh. Carolyn Rick said, I heard Uncle Charles is retiring soon. Happy retirement hashtag. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. But there has been a rumor, though. Again, that fucking Dave Meltzer, you know what I'm saying? He, this may be one that he's right about every once in a while. I don't know, though. Make it in time. Now that one is not completely his fault because he was knocked out on the outside of the ring and barely made it to his feet and got in in time. But he tried, but barely, barely missed it. Bro got going up with the right and the share. Stay sipping, Bray Link in the motherfucking house. I said, Bray Link in the house. SOL with the upset victory over the Divine Rapture. And I mean, damn, they needed that though, because I mean, that was their only their what? Their second dub. They're now two and three. The Divine Rapture now six and ten. And the Divine Rapture was the favorites in that match. They had 14 votes. SOL only had five. But that just goes to see. That's why I put the that's why I put the uh the records up there. Because you know, for a while we seem like a people just go by like the books so we like over it. And then, oh my damn. Doo doo. Doo doo. With the light. Po up, my man. Hey. Hey. If that was meant to troll, you dropped in the wrong spot, man. Because, hey, you're talking to the guy who calls Doki in New Japan Dookie just to have fun. So I fucks with it. Doo 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 with the light, y'all. Doo 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 with the light. Po up. Pull up. Can I get some cups up for doo-doo? Can I get some doo-doo Kool-Aid -doo cups? Just don't put no doo-doo in it. Alfonso Bradley with the like. Pull up. My man dropped cups and juice boxes. That's what I'm talking about. And now it is time. White Knight versus Rude Boy Rufus. Now, Rude Boy was just minding his own business. And the next thing you know, or we know, 
White Knight is calling him out, and he's been on a crusade. I mean, he's been calling him out on Speaking of DTKA, the talk show on Thursdays. He's been calling him out, cutting promos on the page. I even saw him get into like a little back and forth. These two even got into it during my stream last night. Papa Brown's gaming with the like. That was legit. Kodo with the like. Pull up one time for the one time. I see you sipping. I see you sipping. But uh, yeah, these two, these two actually pulled up during my uh, during my uh, live stream last night and was talking shit in the comments. Going at it. It got really real. It got really real. <laughs> pull up. Pull up. Tory Lamb with those cuffs up. You know, I love to see it. Making his way to the ring. Look at him, my man, like. Weighing in at 228 pounds. My man, not there. My man, not there. My man, look, my man. I'm sorry. White Knight, I got to give it to you. Y'all ever seen, uh, y'all ever seen Pooty Tang? When they were doing the, uh, when they were doing the, uh, like on all the TVs and like had the instructional videos, Pooty struts like this. That's the way homie came out there when he had the arm and shit out there, like, cause it was, you know there wasn't no female on his arm and so like when I saw that, I was like, hey, Sadate, my damn I fucks with it. I fucks with it. Now, it is going to be terrible, terrible, terrible if I'm talking all of this shit and he could end up coming out here with this dub. Yeah. That motherfucker come out with a dub, I will owe him an apology live on the air. But, oh, if he get that ass whooped, though. I'm talking shit. I'm talking shit. Because, see, the this is my thing with Rupert Rupert C. Rupert Rupert's got some long ass. Like, I know, don't get me wrong. Oh, 20 Click got that shit. You know what I'm saying? They got some funk. That motherfucker there, that motherfucker got some shit. I'm and his opponent, I'm telling you. I'm from telling wherever you. he wants, visit that man's locker room. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm Greetings, Novak, with the like and the share. Welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for growing up with us. How you doing, man? Thank you, thank you. Also, y'all, we are really on a big ass journey. We're trying to unlock our supporter badge on the page. So, what I need all of y'all to do, I need y'all to tune in at least two times a week for at least a minute and a half. At least a minute and a half. You know what I'm saying? Whether you watch it or not, whether you watch it or not, I just need y'all to come in at least two times a week on our content for a minute and a half. That's it. Pull up with us, y'all. Let's get it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Bro, he the name is real. His name is Rude Boy Rufus for a reason, bro. He don't give a fuck, man. Like I saw him cussing out some kids backstage just because they were uh oh, Uncle Charles signals for that bell. We'll get back to that story later. He goes, he has White Knight in a headlock. Now y'all, this is a two out of three falls tap or nap match, which means you can only win by submission or knockouts. White Knight still ain't took the guard ball, but rolled right into a DDT. You know, Rude Boy pissed off. He ain't even took off the chain. He say, who eating donuts at 6 p.m.? Actually, I mean, I, I, I mean, if you're talking about some fresh Christmas greens or something like that, I mean, I, I, I'd oblige. I mean, to be honest, you could actually swing by, you know what I'm saying? Uh, actually, you know what? I actually may visit. You see, now you done got me hungry. I'm going to have to give me some Krispy Kremes. That man say Brooklyn Brawler 2.0, pull up. Uh-oh. We got some heat in the tag team division. Pull up. Let's get it. Now, Rude Boy Rufus getting choked out by the White Knight. That's just disrespectful in the arm. Getting thrown right into the mat. White Knight now has his arm going for that nerve pitch. Well, well that'll kill you, huh? That, that right there, that, that seriously. That right there is a buzz kill right there. 
Buckeye with the hashtag DTKA. Pull up. Pull up. That's what I'm talking about. We got the DTKA ladies in the house. White Knight back up on his feet. Rude Boy Rufus kicked him in the kneecap. That you gonna be feeling that. You may walk it off and be like, you alright, but trust you me. You gonna wake up one Sunday morning and all of a sudden your knee gonna be on senior citizen. Trust me when I say that. Trust me when I say that. Zach say I'm back in, have my son with me. Pull up, man. Pull up. Hey, well, you know how we do things around here in DTKA, man. You know how we do things around here. Appreciate y'all pulling up, showing us some mad love. James Novak says, one day I will have to join. Dude, all you have to do, uh, if you want, we can get a character made for you, bro. James, I can send you the character sheet. And uh, if you can't make the character, bro, we can definitely get it made for you. You know what I'm saying? I can put you in contact with the creators. And they're real good, bro. They shoot back and forth with the people who they're making them for. Like, uh, taking y'all's input on, you know what I'm saying, whether y'all like what they're doing or not. So we can definitely get you set up, man. I'd love to have you in DTK promotions. All we ask is just be present and active, bro. That's it. That's it. But if you want to join, man, we got you. We got you. Look, Calvin, I'm saying, come in, Jay. Exactly. Come roll with us. Come roll with us. Oh, snap. So while Rude Boy Rufus taught Mr. Luscious, the pin pan to justice, Mr. Luscious taught Rude Boy Rufus how to shove him. <laughs> Boy. Scott says, if the white knight is here, then where's the black knight? Oh, that's a movie that Martin Lawrence did uh, where he got tra like transported into like the Renaissance period. He had like a green jersey on. Yeah, I think it may be like on Amazon, Netflix, Tubi, or something like that. Look at that. Even David saying, come sip with us, big dog. And James says, okay. So, bam, there you go. We're going to have another new sipper pulling up joining DTKA. Ruber Rufus, I do not want to see you do the splits like that no mo, no damn mo, bro. See, look, you got me fucking up my curse. I don't want to see that no damn mo. Don't you ever in your life bust the splits, bro. Angie says she got to go with Rude Boy Rufus on this one. Pull up. Right now he killing it. 85% of the votes with 17. White Knight has three. My man hasn't got a victory yet. So if he does get a victory over Rude Boy Rufus, I'm sorry. Rude Boy Rufus may have to change his attitude and turn into Good Boy Rufus. I don't know. Because he is 24 and 26. Every time he comes close... And being one win away from 500, he comes up short. So, in my eyes, Rude Boy Rufus got to win two matches in a row. I want to see him touch 500. I want to see him touch 500. You know, like when you were a kid and you used to run and jump and hit the door frame? That, that's why I want to just run up and just smack the shit out of the 500 record. He said he ain't killing nothing but his nuts with them pants splits. And yeah, and last time I checked, he ain't had kids yet. So he may want to take it easy. Now, White Knight trying to go for a crossbody didn't get all of it. I'm sorry, if a grown man fall on my knee like that, I'm sorry, match over with. Wrap that up, B. Seriously, have me up in the ER. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Leg propped up. Hey, I'm done. Now, White Knight back up to his feet. Rude Boy Rufus checking the perm. White Knight say, what you checking it for? I'm just about to mess it up anyway. Uncle Charles getting as far back as he can. And now, White Knight with another nerve pinch on Rude Boy Rufus. And Rude Boy says he's tired of that shit. He's tired of that shit. He said, you can take that nerve pinch and shove it right up your sphincter nerve and goes for an arm drag. White Knight back up on his feet. Tries to go for the... Uh, one more again, but White Knight was ready for it. Angie, five, oh, let me do this right. 563 days sipping. Angie pulling up heavy, I see you, I see you. Danny, 230, pull up. I'm gonna have to change that caption. I'm sorry that the bot keep cussing y'all out and things. I mean, y'all don't deserve to be called a motherfucker every time y'all pull up y'all sippies. I'm going to I'm gonna have to talk to the bot about that and get that get that right. Whoa, he went with him, but at least his mouth was covered. And Rude Boy Rufus is still in this thing. That sledgehammer is just sitting idle. White Knight pulling on Rude Boy Rufus. 
Is he gonna tap? He says, hell no. Nah. The only thing I'm tapping is those cheeks after this match, and she's waiting in the back, he says. Scott Stevenson pulling up with 279 days sippage. My man James Novak got 437 days sipping. Let's go. Damn it. Let's sip. Pull up one time for the one time. I'm sorry, y'all. It's coming every time. Y'all already know what it is. It's DTK promotions. Ain't no let's go. Ain't no none of that. It's let's sip around here. We got Kool-Aid in the cups. Perfect for the cotton mouth that Rude Boy Rufus is about to have after rolling one up. My man say he don't need no White Owls. He rolling White Knights. Two for a dollar. Pull up. Clip. Uppercut elbow from the White Knight. Rude Boy Rufus reverses, swings him around the other way. Now White Knight's on the apron. White Knight's on the apron, and Rude Boy Rufus goes and introduces that head to that apron that he was just standing on. From top to bottom, pull up. Says, so my 511 is way off. Wait, what? Rick say these boys putting on the show. Nah, they really are, though. They really are going all out, though. This is a hell of a match. Hell of a match so far, for sure. Big cups up in the chat. Rolling DDT. My man, Rude Boy Rufus, brought some zigzags just in case you forgot your guards. Smoke weed every day. Jaffa Joffrey with the like. The attendant of Muhammad pulling up with not just a like, but a share as Rude Boy Rufus shares the White Knight's face with those steel steps. You damn right, Mr. Lusses was dancing like that at the beginning of the show, but as the show's going on, he probably ain't dancing so much because they've been seeing more L's than Dubs, but pull up, thanks for that share though. Oh, he says it's off by two weeks. Oh, whoa, okay, yeah, yeah. We definitely got, it's a bunch of people who got some ugly sippage going out there. For some reason, it hit reset. Perry stuff ended up getting reset. For some reason, David stuff done got reset. Quincy stuff had got reset. Um, I think that was during like that Facebook glitch period or something. Now, White Knight grabbing Rude Boy Rufus by the perm or the kitchen of his perm. And now we sipping, y'all. Now we sipping. Kool-Aid has been spilled. Rude Boy Rufus has spilled his shit. Kool-Aid spilled, y'all. Clean up on our 420. Pull up, pull up, pull up. There we go. We got cups up in the chat. Cups up in the chat. Not looking good. And Rude Boy is still in that thing. Even after spilling his Kool-Aid, still active. Not tapping out for nobody but the ladies. And, oh, he, he's spilling heavy. He's feeling heavy, y'all. Oh, I think that may be a crack in the picture. Muhammad with a hundred stars, y'all, but he ended up getting May Young. Can we get hashtag May Young dropping in a hundred stars and had to cover her up? Pull up, pull up, pull up. That, yeah, that, 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 that doesn't look good for Rude Boy at all. Yeah, that, 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 that's a pretty big boo boo on that photo. Warpath with them cups up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I 420, yo, it's my favorite aisle to shop on. You know. Calvin Ricks with the hashtag May Young. Yeah, boy. I'm pretty sure when y'all be dropping y'all shit, y'all don't be expecting that. Y'all be expecting a stripper with a leg up or something like that. Heck nah, I gave you an old lady. <laughs> I was like, it's just funny, it's just funny. I'm sorry, it's just, I, I, that is one I did to make myself laugh. And I hope y'all get a kick out of that too when that shit pop up. Because y'all know how we do it when people send in stars. You know what I'm saying? Normally, normally we got the babes out there, but uh, the man got May Young. And Rude Boy Rufus getting one only needs one more as the White Knight tap even with that spilled Kool-Aid. Hey, Majaya, you remember when she kept trying to get in those bra and panty matches and stuff? Or those uh, swimsuit contests and all that shit? Poor Jerry the King, Lala. P poor Jerry. Poor Jerry. And now Rude Boy Rufus going, trying to make the White Knight tap twice back to back, but the White Knight says no, he's still in this thing. Rude Boy Rufus better not get too confident. White Knight slides out. 
Rude Boy checking to make sure his sack and his uh, backup Brillos did not fall out of his pocket. Looks like they're still good, though. Otherwise, he'd be walking up the ramp to go get some more and say, fuck this match. But he's still going. Now a head smash has White Knight down. Something I noticed, too, though. And I've noticed it for a while, but it's just like the little details. I love how... Like, Ruber Rufus walks out with his bandana mask. And then when he gets in the ring, he just ties it around his wrist. Like, it's still there. It doesn't just magically disappear. Shout out to the homie for the... Oh! Woo! Bet you didn't see that one coming. He says, yeah, old man, feel bad for the people's eyes. <laughs> he has to get him. Uh-oh, rolling up another white knight, two for a dollar, I told you. I told you. It's your local hood corner store. Now he rolls him over, getting fancy with the submission. Rupert Rufus makes him tap twice. Makes him tap twice. It got fancy with it. Pull up. Now, maybe, just maybe, Rude Boy Rufus can actually touch 500 now because, I mean, well, that's a good celebration. He still got a ways to go, but he's still holding that Kool-Aid pack, so he's good there, you know. So he still has a championship opportunity that he hadn't even cashed in yet that he's just holding on to, ain't even mentioning it. So we're just going to let him do his thing. But the uh, White Knight may have just got a lesson and watch who you talk to. Because for a second there, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I thought he had it, but then once Rude Boy locked in, Rude Boy locked in, it's like the second he found out that he could do whatever move he wanted and was not gonna lose no weed in the process, the man was solid. The man was solid, pull up. Hashtag tap like Jack two times. Two times, that's just how I got my name in. Pull up. Angie pulling up with the GGs. Yellow with the GG, he got big cups up. Oh, uh, Here is your winner, Rude Boy Rufus. Crystal with the GGs. Joffa pulling up big ones. Oh no, Scott, that's that man rolling one. That man just rolling one. You know what I mean? It's called a roll up and then insert whoever's the competitor that he's facing. That time he just rolled up a white knight. Up next, though, we have an Extreme Rules False Count Anywhere match between Buckeye, Tasha Rodriguez, Amir, or, yeah, is that it? Yeah, Tasha Rodriguez, Amir Baker, first ever DTKA Women's Champion ever, Valentine Van Sice, and Shay dropping up in this thing. Po up one time for the one time. Now, I know for a fact Valentine Van Sice and Tasha are mad about the results of uh, the uh, that tables match and shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The one where Riona just like fell asleep, like right up in that bitch, like was just up in the corner, just counting four leaf clovers and shit. Well, the women in that match ended up getting a tie. Except for I think Tasha may have gotten an L on her because she did get eliminated before that shit went down, but I'm not sure. I have to go check the record book. Every woman in that match may have gotten a tie, though. I'd have to go check. And now Athena pulling up with a well, well, well. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Here they go. Buck, I say gonna be a fire match. Oh, you damn right. Ladies always turn it up. The ladies always turn it up. Pull up. Rihanna had way too much of that Kool-Aid that night. Hell yeah, she did. Hell yeah. You know what? I'm not even sure it was Kool-Aid she was sipping. Because I ain't never sipped no Kool-Aid that I have a motherfucker like that. I mean, I mean, wherever it is, I need some. Because that, that's some shit that I'll sip anytime a motherfucker start talking to me and they saying something I don't really care about or not trying to hear. I... Out of there. <laughs> Rick say Riona has some lint. Oh shit. Oh shit, been sipping that uh that promethazine. Let me say that hush hush Kool-Aid.
that man say I was a man and not talking about it. So let me just say I want all the girls to be great. That is with a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, Athena's hell. Athena's hell. Thivey going, oh yeah, Thivey going ham crazy on this Making one. Her way to the ring. Well, got her first one out. She even got thigh meat on the left side out. So you don't get all the thigh meat, you just get some of the thigh meat. Last oh, yeah. said she had some of the family's white lightning. Oh no. You know I'm what? You know what? That hell. sounds more like it actually now that I think about it a lot. Probably did end up sipping some of that moonshine. For sure. The Knockout Kings champion, Victor. Jay going up with that like and that share. I see you there, bruh, bruh. I see you there, bruh, bruh. Remember, y'all, if y'all watching and y'all not going to have 2K22, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if y'all, if, uh, put it to you like this. If it's going to be longer than a month for you to get 2K22, uh, go ahead and hit the inbox so we can go ahead and get you a temporary character made until get it and then you can go in and create your character with it. You don't deal with it. If you don't plan on getting it, or it's going to be a while before you get it, probably as a call. Mr. Wade says, I dedicate tonight's corner to the healing of Razor and Big E. Hashtag let fucking sick. Hold up, man. I appreciate you doing that. Victor says, what's good? Aren't you red, bro? Oh, man. I'm doing lovely. I'm doing lovely, man. DCK go home show before the pay per view. I'm lit. I am lit. Crazy. As you can tell, as you can tell, like I'm, I'm turned, my man. Michael Owens, Chick, Tasha Rodriguez, truck and stuff. Didn't know they was gang banging like that round here, but apparently so. Hashtag crack bottom boys salute. Thanks, Titan. I appreciate that, man. Much love. Now, Valentine Van Sykes. Looks out there at the Sippers, and you know she really needs a dub. Really needs a dub in this match. There will not be a poll for this match because there are five participants in it. So, y'all stay sipping. We're going to keep this thing rolling. Joppa Jeffrey says there will be a donor for the blood drive. Well, hey, Joppa, you just tell Bahamut to make sure he's ready because BJ is not going to sleep on B B I mean, BJ's the first three-time Knockout Kings champion. He's held the King of the Indies championship. I believe he held the Intercontinental championship, which was his first division. So, hey. BJ got BJ got a record, man, like for real. So and get into the pay per view. I'm looking forward to that. Muhammad and BJ, that's gonna be a banger. That's gonna be a banger. It was a Kyle. It was a Kyle say every day is Valentine's Day. Hold up, hold up, do the damn thing. Do the damn thing. Rose Martel, I see you with those cups, man. I see you with those cups, man. Y'all, I'm super amped for that big brain tank little bank match between the MCI and the Hunter Hunter. That shit is gonna be fucking hot. Squad versus squad. We get to see. Anytime DeMarco Henderson in gets in on the action, it, it, it's amazing. Remember that time? Uh, I don't remember when it went, but uh, it was a while ago. A long time ago. Uh, he won the. Uh, he had won a number one contenders match. Lost, but he ended up winning it. Matter of fact, and the same way, Tennessee, I believe he won it the same the way uh, Muhammad did. It was either that or in like a battle royale, but I think it was in a uh, rumble like style like that and ended up coming out with the doves. Ended up getting a loss. Anywho, I say all that to say, anytime that man gets into the ring, though, good things can happen. While he's not a wrestler, he's definitely fired to see. I'm just saying. The battle royale for sure, for sure. That's it, that's it, that's it. I remember it was something like that. It was like a battle royale or rumble or something like that. 
Kyle says, would love this as a ladder match. You know what? You know what? I'm glad you said something. I'm glad you said something. Because <laughs> I just mentioned Rude Boy Rufus holding his Kool-Aid pack. Maybe a Kool-Aid pack match at the pay-per-view. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Pull up with the ladies, though. You know? It's been a minute since we done had the ladies hold that Kool-Aid pack and do a cash-in. Pull up. Pull up. See, y'all forgot about that, didn't you? Some of y'all forgot about that. Yes. Men's ain't the only ones with a Kool-Aid pack. Women's got one, too. Let's get it. Let's say Boston is killing it in DCKA. 617 all day. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. All up in this thing. All up in this thing. And that's what I love, though. I love that we got sippers from all over the place. Sippers all over the place rocking. And look at that. Jay Hunt from the Headhunters coming in with a... Pulling up Kool-Aid cups. That's what I'm talking about, bro. How you doing, man? And Buckeye trying to wrap that thing up quick. Shay kicks out. Uncle Charles turns over, gets the one, the two, and then Valentine kicks out. Amir back up. Tasha oh, just standing by, God. waiting for it all to go down. Da da da. Jay Hunt hold up with that share. What's good, big dog? How you doing, fam? Says, remember when Ricky Rose stood in the air like Jesus and took the tag belts off the hook and won our first championship? Yes, bro. Against the family. It was against the family and like DTK's first tag team rivalry, bro. That was fucking epic. Because y'all did get hold. Y'all did get hold that first time. When they got him. And look at that. Mr. Lush is throwing up with the like and the share. I see you, man. It's like, seriously, for like 2.5 seconds, that man Ricky Rose turned into like a deity. And you're going up big cups. Oh, hell yeah. Now Valentine with a punch right to the back of the head of Shane. Tasha sends Amir Baker on the outside and only to toss her back in. Damn, it made it look easy. Buckeye on the outside catches some Z's. Which is actually, in this unique case, is not a bad thing. Because while she's out there resting, the rest of the rest of the women are taking damage. Sorry, that was a tongue twister with rest being too close together. Is they gonna go watch Uncharted tonight and see what it's about? Already, man. Let me know. Let me know. You know, my boy, I was gonna say, my boy, I was saying, my man can actually talk about movies without getting spoilers. That's why I fucks with it. Pull up. Mr. Lush is pulling up with big shares too. My man came through with the bangs, man. Appreciate you pulling up, man, because the Kool-Aid's so good in the diabetic for drinking. And if your ass ain't sick, then you're tripping. Let's get it. Tasha, Buckeye, both jumping. Amir Baker, they know who the giant bitch is. Valentine Van Sykes with a head smash. Shay eating the apron on the side. Uncle Charles right there for it, getting a one. And that is all we getting as she kicks out. Tasha getting those legs up, throwing Buckeye right into those steel steps. Amir Baker. I'm talking forearms and kicks to Tasha. Walks right past. She bypassed Buckeye completely just to go to Tasha. Then Buckeye slides in, gets a one, and then Tasha kicks out. She's pissed. Valentine and Shay on the other side over here going at it. Well, now Valentine catches the leg and kicks Shay in the thigh meat. Whoa, hold on now. Tag Team Legendary and DTK pull up. Let's fucking sip. You damn right, Rose Cartel. Let them know just in case they forgot, man. Now Amir Baker down for that one, that two, and that is it. Uncle Charles doing the call from long distance. 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. And she's on her way to the back. Valentine Van Sykes. Trying to find her next op. Buckeye says, I'm right chair, right chair. Tasha Rodriguez stalking Amir Baker. Valentine goes right over there and hits a cutter out of nowhere. That is a $100,000 fine. One, two, three. And sends Tasha to the back. With an illegal move, but damn it, get the dubski. How you get the dubski? 
Oh, Scott, you must have missed it, man. We're not doing a poll for this one. This one uh, had five people in it. I'm going to try to rush and get that typed in. Ali Bryant with the life. Go up. Now, cross your heart and hope to die DDT from Amir Baker. Has Buckeye down in the center of the ring. We got a one. We got a two and a three. Buckeye's eliminated. It's just Amir Baker left. And Valentine on the other side. While she's waking up, Amir Baker's grabbing a steel chair. Uh-oh, we're moving furniture. Somebody call Renner Center. Somebody ain't made their payment. Oh, and right to the back and the top of the head. I mean, the back, the top of the head, the neck, all of that just got abused. And then, the, oh, okay, she rolled out the way. Whew. That would have been a nasty hard way. Mejaya, solid, is pulling up big cups. Rose Cartel dropping the bag. Popping bottles and pulling up cups. That's what I'm talking about. Kool-Aid Sippers going crazy, y'all. They are on their feet. Amir Baker up top looking to fly. Valentine Van Sice with nowhere to go. Amir Baker with nowhere to go but down. And she gets all of it and then some. Valentine Van Sice with a kick right to the face. Kind of odd there, too. Amir Baker pulled her up on her feet. And I hadn't seen a chick look that day since they were. Come, girl. Rick says she got hang time. Head feel like little Bow Wow braids. Oh, shit. Let me shut the fuck up. Let me shut the fuck up. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Cowboys reach a five-year, $62.5 million extension with wide receiver Michael Gallup to tell his ass to stay on the field. Flipped over and caught her just nasty. Valentine is just a freaking daredevil, yo. She don't give no flying fucks. Here is your winner, Amir Baker. Amir Baker with the dub reminding the whole roster that she is the first. DTK with his champion. Because you know, they really don't care. All they care about is who holds the bell right now, and it ain't her. Matter of fact, she ain't held the bell in quite some time. You know that I think about it. Up next, y'all, Big Bank take Lil Bank. We got Hustle and Money versus MBI. And yes, just like last week, y'all, we got a 3v3 pull up. Let's get it. Let's get it. He said someone should name a cut of the no fear to find. <laughs> that would be epic, though. That is, that's funny. That is, that's, that's funny. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I like that. Got cars pulling up in the parking lot. That boy Quincy got his interrogator glasses on. Yeah, look at the chain. Matter of fact, oh, you just, are you admiring the drip, the drip of MBI? Yeah, bro, them chains are real. You know what I mean? Dang Dollar looking like he been in Rude Boy Rufus's bag. Ali. He just, Ali just been holding on to his. Like, he like, hey, I'm keeping these motherfuckers in pristine condition. These chains are in the family. We got to keep them in the family. But not like Elijah Church now. He says, at last, the hustle and money versus MB feud is reignited. Po up then. Po up, po up, po up. He says, for my Seth Rollins fan. Oh, oh this guy here. This guy here. <laughs> The 
Demarco Hennessy looked like he not worried about nothing. My man looked like, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna smoke this blunt. Take my ass out here. Make it do what it do. And after that, go cast that check. You feel me knocking? Sorry, y'all got distracted by the drip. They will let me in. That thing, okay, see, you feel me. You feel me. You feel me. And Perry pulling up with that light. Hey, man, I see. I bet you my man Perry dancing like that right damn now. Perry, right now, in the crib. Even if I can't see you, I just want you, I just want to know that you're doing that dance right now. Give me the I King the African Dream dance right now, bro. Pull up. That, matter of fact, if I could get if I could get Perry doing that on camera like a video, bro, DTKA and GSM could go viral, bro. We be in that bitch monetized like a motherfucker. So I hear say the team on the left drip is fire. Yeah, that's that MBI man. That's that MBI man. They they they, they are fire. They are fire. A top notch tag team here in DTKA promotions. Now they haven't had the belts in a minute. But trust you me, I believe they gonna hold them things again. I believe they gonna hold them things again. And right now, Hustle and Money are holding on to those tag team titles. Still. Dang Sugar Daddy Dollar says all his sugar babies know where the money resides. <laughs> Pull up. Pull up. Omar with the bags up and the cups. NBI time again is now. Hustle and Money just went bankrupt. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Tom Brady is unretiring. Holy shit, where is he going? Where is he going? Pull up. Return to the Bucks. Oh shit, let's get it. Let's get it. I'm all for it. At a combined weight of 669. Perry coming in with the share, man. Thank you for the love, bro. Pull up. I think the family would have something to say about who holds the next tag team title. You know what? Elijah, I don't fuck with you and the family, but I'm not actually, um, I actually can't say shit on that because right now the best records in the tag team division, the Rising Suns are 12 and 12. The nation, the nation, y'all, a tag team y'all don't even be talking about, 13 and 6. Hustling Money 22 and 18, I'll pull that poll up, and the family. Is 17, 7, and 1. Yes, I said it, y'all. 17, 7, and 1. That's that's that those are crazy results. He needs some milk. Rose Cartel with a hundred stars. Pull up, pull up, pull up. You damn right. I need some milk. Pull up, man. How you doing? Thanks for the love. There goes hustle and money. All the drip. Sir Scott Ryan and Ali got those tag team titles clicked on super tight. Dane Dollar think he's slick. He put a little bit too much of that soul glow in and to wipe some of that shit off. He think he's slick. He think he's slick. Got a hashtag MBI in the chat. Hunt, throwing tomatoes, he ain't having it. Oh, Perry, we doing good, man. We doing good. Go home, pay per view show, man. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it gangster up in here. Also, more big news as well, y'all. Championships are translating over, too. So, yes, Knockout Kings Championship, King of the Indies, Tag Team Titles. Open weight women's, none of those belts are going anywhere. None of them. None of them. That's right. They stay in right here. Right here. Ho up, y'all. Let's get it. Just look at those broke boys still wearing the gear. Here you go, Pat. <laughs> Dang, Rose Cartel going in. Pull up. You talking about that motherfucker who got murdered on TV, right? Okay, yeah, I remember him. I remember him. 
Matter of fact, we actually got that murder up on YouTube. So if y'all want to see a murder, go ahead and visit our YouTube page where, you know what I'm saying, we've had two people get killed here in DTKA, but this one was actually like, boom, boom, you feel me? Dane Dollar with a powerbomb pin combo right in the middle of the ring. Two, oh, and then turns it around. I thought he would have had that. That would have been a quickie. Ricky Goldsmith looking down from the heavens like, ah, oh, fuck that. Now, Ricky Rose tosses Dane Dollar to the outside. And now, oh, Dane Dollar getting his shit pushed in like training day. Ricky Rose is not playing no games. Ricky. thrown down and kips right back up. Ricky Rose ain't going nowhere. He say, hey, I may be short, but motherfucker, I'm gonna be looking up at your ass for a long, long time. So get used to looking down here, bro, because I'm in your grill. Now, Ricky Rose throwing Dang Dollar into the boots and shins of Ali. And Ali's like, the fuck you want me to do? I'm supposed to be here. The disrespect. Dane Dollar eating, tasting whatever's on the tip of the boots of Ali. Courtesy of Ricky Rose in NBI. Elijah Church pouring up cups. Now Uncle Charles is still on that count, y'all. He's still on that count. Now if both of these men don't get back in, both of them are gonna be eliminated. back in. Almost made it. I believe they were at an 11 count. What's Dane Dollar playing on doing with Ricky Rose? Walking him over to the hustling money corner. Got him posted up. And Ricky Rose able to get out of that quick fast. He said, nah, only we make the direct deposits round here, bruh, bruh. Only we make the deposits round here, bruh, bruh. Punch to the gut, gets a, oh, oh! Ay, 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 ay! Now, here go, wait, what? Are we about to get another, oh, shit, I thought we was about to get another fine. I was about ready to find his ass. Powerbomb pin combo has Dane Dollar in a tough predicament. Ali comes in and gets put in a torture rack. Well, damn. Uh, well, it was for a good call. It was for a good cause. Now, Dane Dollar dragging the body. Or is the dead body being dragged by DeMarco Hennessy, I should say. Now, Mr. Hennessy with some knees right to the hairline of Dane Dollar. That man is guaranteed to not have no soul glow left in his shit. Do you feel me? Iris whips Dane Dollar to the MBI corner, then an Enziguri after the elbow. Yeah, see, he don't like, he ain't fucking with that hairdo. DeMarco Hennessy is not fucking with that hairdo at all.
Now DeMarco got Sir Scott Ryan by the neck. Yeah, had to get it. You know, we got some, uh, we got our uh, maintenance crew staying on top of the building and stuff, so we need some repairs and stuff done here in the DTK area, ready to make sure y'all are safe and everything and a double under hook back breaker. DeMarco has it. Yeah, make the tag, bro. You just make the tag, bro. Make the tag, bro. Up on the shoulders of Sir Scott Ryan. Up and down he goes. I, I got to be honest. That man, since he's joined Hustling Money, replacing uh, that motherfucker who we not going to uh, say name again, he's been holding He's been holding it down. Took him a minute to get his drip, you know what I'm saying, but he, he, he's doing the damn thing. I fucks with him. I fucks with Sir Scott Ryan. He says, so now, so we know where we're going to get all that rack wrench from. He should be wearing this guy here. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, that boy VJ said he rewind. He said, the hell he think? Oh, yeah, that happened. I didn't even know you could rewind during a live, bro. I didn't even know that. That's what's up that you can. Yeah, it got real, though, man. It got real. Deuce from Blade Inc., man. I don't know what that was. Uh, I, I I don't know. I, I don't know what that was, man. But I'm definitely gonna keep my eye on that. And Sir Scott Ryan lays down Demarco Hennessy. Where's he dragging him to, though? Y'all wanna see a dead body? Right to the center of the ring. Well, nope. He's dragging him over there to the hustle and money corner. Okay, that's smart. That's smart. I was wondering what the hell he was doing there for a second, but now that I think about it, that's actually smart. Dang dollar in, but just a little bit too little, too late. Uncle Charles trying to get gain control back in here, telling Dang Dollar that he better get back on the outside. Sir Scott Ryan still in action. Shit. Yo, Mars, what's happening, man? Pull up. Whoa, whoa. DeMarco Hennessy getting thrown all over the place, and this is not looking good in the high and the low. Yo, Mars, what's happening, man? We doing good up in here, man. We just chilling like a villain, man. You already know. You already know. Up on the shoulders of Ali, and he comes in. Right now, DeMarco Hennessy is hearing a cleanup song from Barney, and I don't even think he watches PBS 13. That man don't even look like he seen PBS 13 in about 20 plus years, maybe 30. Dane Dollar knocking that one. Nah, I'm sorry, I'm gonna try to get your ass up. That was a flop. Any other time I'll be banging, that was a flop. Get your ass up. You good. You good. Now, oh! Ali, is that the baby mama drop right there? Or is that the dropping your kids off? What do you call that move, bro? What do you call that move? Is that the child support back pay? It's the, I, 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 need, I, need a name, I need a name for that. I need a name for that. Because I know Grady, no, I, Grady calls it the ice pick. Now, Ricky Rose, Ali and the two biggest shit talkers in both tag teams. These two can talk some shit. Ali is like top five, dead or alive, in promos. Ricky Rhodes can talk that shit too. I'll throw Rude Boy Rufus in there. I'll throw Leo Blade in there when it comes to talking some cash money shit. Uh, Tyler Connor can talk some shit. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's some shit, to, like, the shit talkers out there for real. You know, Main Street ain't gotta talk shit to you. Well, he is, but he gonna do it in a different way. Main Street gonna produce a video for your ass and insult you in the worst possible way. Just in a video. Like, you ain't even really gotta hear his voice. You know what I mean? But that's how savage we are, right? Yep, Dane Dalla, a big dude like that, and still getting his ass whooped. Caught himself trying to slide into the uh, Royal Rumble match earlier. Uh, trying to get that number one contendership for uh, VJ, but uh, yeah, that didn't happen because you know his ass was going to lose. Now look at him. Trying to get in, talking shit to Ricky Rose in his face. Ricky Rose say, watch this, bitch. Who's Ali out? What's he doing? Ricky Rose going up and the big body drop on the apron. Yeah, yeah, yeah that man down. That, that man down. We can get a clip on that, though. And Dane Dollar with the falling arm breaker. Helping out his fellow team member. I see you pulling up. 
Now Ali trying to get that strike in, but Ricky Rose was able to get the arm up. Ivers whipping. Now this time Ricky Rose eating off of Dane Dollar's boot and a brain buster on the outside. Uncle Charles still on that count though. So if both men don't get back in this ring and he hits the 20, y'all know what that means. Both men going to the back. Already, that's glad to hear it, Perry. Good to hear it, man. Good to hear it, broski. Oh, hey, uh, Perry, do you need us to get Mean Street made for you on, uh, for 22? Let me know, bro. So Scott Ryan failing and getting a DDT miserably. Right between the K and the A of the DTKA Promotions logo. It gets really real. Dang Dollar trying to get in. Uncle Charles says nope. But right now that's fucking with Ricky Rose's count. And I'm not sure if that was a rope break or if he just popped out of it and got him one more again. Caught in the ropes and still dropped it. Didn't roll him around this time. Now he's dragging. Ricky Rose. Dragging Sir Scott Ryan to, well, I thought he was taking him to the NBI corner the same way that Hustling Money was doing, but apparently not. That's a two, and Sir Scott Ryan kicks out. Y'all, are we still 3v3 in this bitch? I haven't seen, okay, there he go. I'm about to say, I hadn't seen Ali yet in a while. Like, where did he go? What? Whoa! What the fuck was that? What the fuck did Dane Dollar just do? What the fuck was that? A competitor has been eliminated. Yeah, I, 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 I. Y'all saw that shit, right? Y'all saw he just popped him up and threw him down. And Sir Scott Ryan's eliminated. It's just Dane Dollar and Ali left in this match. But you got to think, Ali has got to be wondering, can he even trust that soul glow wearing motherfucker over there who's supposed to be part of his crew? Man, is Dane Dollar tired of being red? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that one. All right, yeah, nah, Mean Street, we got you, bro. We got you, Perry. Say less, man. Say less. I got multiple people on it, man. We gonna get you hooked up, bro. Say less. I got you. Uh-oh. MBI ready to cash that check. Power bomb in the middle. Y'all, that may be a wrap. That may be a wrap. J Money going for the pin on Ali. Uncle Charles, I don't know what the fuck he waiting on. One, two. Three and Ali is out. Oh man. Oh damn. The, 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 the NBI got this dub because we know good and damn well Dane Dollar ain't winning shit. Like, just be real. If you telling me Dane Dollar is about to eliminate all three of them, just looking at good shit. I'm just saying. I'm gonna say he's been in the business for himself. That's what it looks like. That's exactly what it looks like. He say apparently Dane got money to blow. I, 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 shit, I don't know, but he ain't got L's to spare. I know that much. This motherfucker ain't won shit since he been here. He is like, he's like one of the only few who's like a guaranteed L. Seriously. Even Giuseppe got some dubs. Now, it may only be like two or three, but he got some. This motherfucker over here got nothing but sombreros in the wind cop. You say he might throw the match? Oh, is that what he doing? Y'all think he pulled the, uh, y'all think he pulled the, uh, Calvin Ridley? You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker going out here putting, you know what I'm saying, put some money on with his dumb ass. We're gonna sacrifice millions for $1,500? Jay Money say he ain't falling for it this time. Catches the leg of Dane Dollar. Single leg Boston Crab. He's crawling. Trying to make it to the ropes. Knew he wasn't gonna make it, though. Slides around. NBI got this one unless Dane Dollar does the unthinkable and silences. I don't think he's gonna do it. I don't think Dane Dollar's gonna do it. He's gonna have to make me a believer. He's gonna 
have to make me a believer because even if he eliminate two, watch his ass get. It'd be funny. It'd be funny. Let's say Jay Money and Ricky Rose get eliminated, and then all that's left is Dane Dolly and Demarco Henderson. Manager versus manager, bruh. Matter of fact, J Money, go make that tag. I want to see that right now. Rose dropping the bag. Rick said he may have bet on this match. Fixing his own. I don't know, man. Maybe. Maybe. I wouldn't put it past him, though. I wouldn't put it past him because Dane Dollar do be on that mess. He do be on that mess. Rose Cartel with those cups up and popping them bottles, man. See, I'm, I'm, I'm sipping I'm I'm sip healthy from late today, you know. J Money able to get back up to his feet. Ricky Rose, like, yeah, he feel like his boy got this. Look like he just cadillac on the ropes and shit, just kool aid -ing. Ricky Rose just kool aid on the ropes. Pull up. Jay Money saying white for it, like the crocodile hunter, but nope, he goes in anyway, has a change of heart. Gets it in what I tell you. I told you. I told you that was happening. I told you it was going down like that. It's Dane Dollar. It's like he's one of those, all he do is lose, 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 no matter what. That's just what he does. It's in his DNA. That's why he's a manager. That's why Ali pulled his ass back, put him on the bench, and brought Sir Scott Ryan on in there because Dane Dollar can't do right. Dane Dollar is can't get right from life. Oh Seriously. my god! That motherfucker can't even hit. Oh my god, he's right as Rose came in with a hundred stars, MBI, doing what the emoji said they were gonna do and dropped the bag. Pull up. Hashtag MBI for life. Pull up then. I wanna see what that poll was looking like. Who was y'all rolling with? Hustle and Money had 15 votes. MBI had 9, 63% of that going to Hustle and Money. And would you look at that? MBI coming out with the dub, and now they 19, 17, and 2. Hustle and Money is 22 and 19. But now if you look at Hustle and Money's record, it tells you what 2K game we jumped from. We went from 19 to 22. Just like that. Do you hear me? Charles, I'm not gonna do this shit. That boy, Uncle, Uncle Charles, lazy. Like, you know he can tell he's a top of the show. He, he damn near cashing it in. He damn near cashing it in. Rose, Are we witnessing the disintegration of us in the I doubt it. I, I doubt it. I doubt it. But dang, he definitely gonna have he definitely gonna have some explaining to do like Lucy though. I know that much. I know that much. That was legitness. Jay Hunt with the like, po up. Right now, though, we got Jackie Tyson versus Tory Lanez. So we got some more hustling money action and some more Blade Incorporated action going on right here. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, hustling money after defeating the Headhunters in the Hell in a Cell tag team match, um, Jackie pretty much had to convert to that green and gold. Now, last week, you know, she came out, she had the drip, but I noticed that, you know, she still had her headhunters logo you know what i'm saying stuff up on the titantron video going still had her headhunter music and shit so i'm interested to see if that's gonna change because i, I see jackie being a bit of a hard-headed one to not really listen so me personally i don't think shit's changed i think she gonna buck the system because she ain't trying to wear this shit just like when marlena was in possession or when brian pillman was in possession of marlena um yeah, I see Jackie bucking the system and still coming out there rocking with her squad. What y'all think? Pull up. Let me go ahead and get this up in here. Got that poll up? Let me know who you got. Tory Lane or Jackie Tyson? Let's get it. Jackie Tyson could use a dub here, but Tory Lane is the champ. 
And, I mean, shit, you know she's gonna pad that boots and she ain't got no problem padding the grass. Oh, hold on now. Oh, got a little, got a little switch of Ruski here. Tori Lynn walking out first. Oh, normally. We see K. Wait, what the hell is this? Cal oh, shit. No, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Caroline Riggs is behind him with a baseball bat. Attacking Tory Lynn at the top of the fucking ramp. I told y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all y'all can't trust that little mother. I told y'all. I did not did not tell. I, I need it right now in the chat. I need right now in the chat. Archie was right. I need Archie was right in the chat right now. I told y'all. I told y'all y'all can't trust that bitch. I told you. I did not tell you. Didn't I freaking tell you? I told you. Anybody who do anything with a snake on it, hey, I'm I, I told you. We'll be back, y'all. Hey, y'all, it's me, Yellow Mountain, giving a special shout out to DTKA Promotions. Y'all stay tuned. Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central. You ain't got nothing to do. You're just sitting there at the house. So what the best thing you can do? You can watch the best wrestling promotion in all the internet. DTKA, also known as the Leo Blade Show. That's right. My client, Leo Blade, formally invites you to watch this promotion and appreciate the best content, the best storytelling, the awesome, awesome interactions with the people and the fans. But not only that, just to see greatness. Because at the end of the day, Leo Blade equals ratings. Check us out. Five Eastern. Let's go. What up? It's your boy Omar from the Click 420. You know what I mean? Shout out to Billy G the Kid. El Numero Uno Rush Marshall. You know what I mean? Big up to Archie Red. Come check this shit out. You know what I mean? DTKA Promotions. Every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Check them out on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. DTKA Promotions. He puts on a mean fucking show. There's a lot of shit talking. Good wrestling and ass whoopings. If you ain't sipping, you tripping. All right? Come check us out. Click 420 in this bitch. Sponsor stand up. Let's go. Oh, it's your boy. Ayo Tommy from Frozen Orange Gaming. I got a quick shout out to my guy, Archie Red, over at Drink That Kool-Aid Podcast. A new show coming live on Sundays at 5 p.m. Hosted by D-T-K-A Promotions. Are y'all ready? Because I am. Because I am. Are you ready? Let's go, y'all. Best of luck, Archie, man. Get it, bro. Get it. And are y'all ready to see all this live action? You won't know until you come see it. You won't know until you come see it. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Tyler Connor, representing the Divine Rapture and the Chosen Few. Just wanted to give a shout out to my boy Archie Red for all the hard work he does for DTKA Promotions. If you guys would be interested in checking that out, it's every Sunday night, 5 p.m. Eastern. And it's it's not just the wrestling show, you know. Shout out to the podcast, shout out to the uh, talk show to call in on, shout out to the normal streams he does. Um, you know, check out the page, check out the YouTube. You know, he's got some dope merch to purchase. So bring your asses over to DTKA Promotions at 5 p.m. Eastern Sundays. Hey, what's up, folks? It's the big bad baby daddy, Ali, here to give a shout out to Drinking the Kool-Aid Promotions. It's going down every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central. You're going to see some of the best wrestling, some of the best storylines, all original created wrestlers. A lot better than that crap you watch on TV. Big shout out to Archie Red and all the guys and girls in the back. 
everybody on the roster, and all the sippers. Because if you ain't sipping, you're tripping. And remember, fans, when you're Baby Daddy World Order, you're a Baby Daddy World Order for life. Or 18 years, whichever comes first. You, you had to say that, didn't you? Yes, I did, Sock Puppet Lawyer. Yes, I did. Remember, you get your own Sock Puppet Lawyer at SockPuppetLawyer.com. See you in the ring! Oh, it's me, uh, coming to tell you, check out DTKA, Sunday, 5 p.m., ALS show you see. All right, so come sip with us, man. All right, all day. All right, peace. Hey guys, tune in Sunday live at 5 Eastern time. 5 Eastern uh, PM and the PM and check out, drink in the Kool-Aid man. And let's put a smile on that face. Yes. Oh, I didn't hit stop. Um, uh, recover botch. Uh. Hold up, y'all. We back. I was, man, I, I had to take I had to take a smoke break after that. I, I, oof. I hate that I was right on that one. I really am, y'all. I am hate that I was right on that one. Hey, for you looking nice though, but yeah, that that's a toughie. Up next though, we have to give me a minute to catch myself. We got Sonya M making her way in the psycho club. Sorry, sorry y'all, y'all just gotta do it. That was crucial. That was that was crucial. That was good. I I know Calvin, bro, but that was one of those I did not want to be right on. I did not want to be right on this one. Lauren, 483 days sipping. Po up, man. Love to see it. Now last week, Sonya M got the dubski against Mina Harkless of the Underworld last night and then after the match there was a fuss about some stolen blood and stuff going on so now this week lucy is taking on sonya m so it's, it's gonna be fire this one this one's definitely gonna be fire you got sonya m taking on the queen of the underworld these two have faced each other before but not necessarily um in a they didn't have a reason like they do now Kind of a sip, you know what I'm saying? Kind of a deal. Uh, well, yeah, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm having to get myself together after what the fuck I just saw. That is some straight fuckery. Y'all look say she liked the clamp up. Nah, Sonya M definitely has a nice look. I definitely love the look. Definitely love the look. Can't wait to see what she gonna look like when she gets her opponent. From the egg. Oh, yeah, you expect us all to hold it in Kumbaya, she made a move good on her I mean, you can say that, Elijah Church But it's like, bro Why does it, here's my, here's my problem Here's my problem right here Why does everybody have to make their statement With Tory Lynn as the champion By like, coming out and sneaking You know what I'm saying, y'all know I'm not even a blading fan like that Like, I root for Tory Lane. Yeah, but I'm not even a lady like fan like that. You know what I'm saying? I get props when they do, yeah, but I'm not a fan. But I have noticed that it seems like most of the time when people are calling their shots, you know what I mean, to go for her belt, it's always feel like running and running in and she's facing somebody else, you know, like catching her off guard kind of thing. I mean she don't sleep, yeah. But if I'm going into a man, I'm like, okay, I'm going out here facing Jack and Tyson, it makes sense. I'm ready for this and that. And then I get blindsided while walking out to the ramp. That's some, that's some bullshit. Like that's that's flat out bullshit, bro. I like, and I, and I say, yeah, I said, bro, and there are females involved. That tell you how pissed off I am. Fuck that shit, bro. That that was bullshit. He says I like your belt. It's pretty. Oh my damn! And she's coming in here with it. And Tori Lynn says they, they can all get it. So Tori Lynn is definitely not running, which of course we knew she wouldn't. And now, wait, what? Mina's popping out as well. So wait a minute. Does that mean this is not the 1v1 that Sonya M thought she signed up for? Uh oh. See, that's what happened when you fuck with the underworld. 
They done fucked around and turned the tables. 45 degrees. Yo, I think we have a handicap match on our hands. Unless somebody comes out to the aid of Sonya M, we got a handicap match on our hands here, y'all. I thought we had a 1v1. Bro, Rose, Rose Cartel, I know, right, bro? And I don't understand why. I don't understand why. Caroline says, you all knew I was a snake. Us, uh, well, I don't Hey, you had everybody else fool, not me, though. I knew. You right, I knew. Now, Lucy and Mina both jumping Sonya M. As you can see, the underworld does not take too kindly the people coming in there fucking with their shit. Now, falling arm breaker for Sonya M by Mina. Now, a spinning bitch slap for Mina as well. Just abusing that arm, Mina. She knows the body part she wants to take apart, and she's focused on it. And that's all she's focused on. Lucy cranking the neck. Getting hers in. This is just bad for Sonya M right now. She may have bitten off more than she can chew. And Tori Lynn, you damn right. You damn right. Oh. Uh, I think Sonya M may have bitten off more than she can chew on this one because the underworld has something that Psycho Club does not. And that's multiple females in there. Mina just told her to kiss her ass. Oh. Uh, but yeah, there's no other female in Psycho Club. So Sonya M has nobody to have her back the same way that Lucy or Mina does with Lucy having her back. See, Mina actually has somebody she could go to when some fuckery happened or some bullshit happened. Sonya M doesn't have that. And whether or not there was some fuckery or not, if Mina pulls up and she has squad, only thing Mina can pull up with is Lenny, Howard, and Ralph. That's it. Calvin Ricks done shows that he says he's still with Tory Lynn. So Calvin Ricks has drawn a line in the sand. Man, my man's was rocking with his sister. He stood side by side with his sister. But that right there just done it. He signed with Tory Lynn on this one. Wow. So Calvin Ricks is not having nothing to do with Caroline Ricks right now. The little sister of Calvin. Wow, shit is just developing like crazy. Yellow Mountain, the poll right now is being led by the Underworld. Nine votes to five. So the Underworld is leading by 69% of the votes, while Sonya M only has 31%. And even though this is a handicap match, I guess you can kind of say this is the clout that Sonya M has because I, th I would figure the poll would be higher than that as far as, like, the Underworld. So I thought it'd be, like, damn near a landslide, but the Underworld's only up by five. Now, I still feel like Sonya M fucked up, but, you know... Sonya M has the end trying to make her tap, but she doesn't just yet. Lucy rolls over and says, it's cool. I got you. And gets it. And Mina and Lucy puts down Sonya M. So again, more freaking development here. What's going on with this Sonya M Psycho Club uh, underworld situation that we have going on here? There's a lot of shit going on here. A lot of shit going on here. But hey, DTKA home go home show wouldn't have it no other way that's right bring that shit around let us know who we got to look forward to some of this stuff we've been knowing a lot of this stuff been building up but you know everybody can't go for a title you know everybody doesn't have a title in it or it's not in the title picture so i love that we actually got some shit to care about outside of the championship props to y'all for that that was just too much Too much to bear So while she didn't tap While she didn't tap out It was enough to make her Not be able to kick out either So hey it be like that Go up Solid is pulling up those cups Thanks a lot man I appreciate that Man, I don't know, bro. There's a difference. There's different ways to make a statement, in my opinion. Here, I'll give you. Winners. 
Let, let's, let's, let's go here. See, this is why I write everything down. You know, I post them up. We have them there. But I also keep this stuff written down in the record book as well. She's one and two. Caroline Ricks is one and two. One and two, bro. Caroline wants to make a statement. How about making a statement by putting some W's in that win column if you want to make a statement? You know what I mean? Do that. That's how you can make a statement. Pull up. Warpath pulling up cups. Tory Land pulling up cups for MBI. That's what I'm talking about. Flex on them. Fuck the rest. DTKA the bear. Pull up. That's how we do, man. That's how we do. Hold on. Let me just. Do, 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 do. And up in there. You know what I'm saying? Up next, we got Michael Grady versus Babyface. Damn, the same thing from last week or from what we just saw in a way. Michael Grady last week beat Mr. Luscious. Now, the assistant pimp got to come out here and I guess I guess he got to avenge or something. like. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Boss got it in my uh, earpiece right now saying that uh, I actually had that wrong. Babyface didn't come out here to avenge. It appears that Mr. Luscious sick baby face on him. But, you know what I'm saying, he just wanted some of him and his hoes to be able to monitor the situation. And, you know what I'm saying, see how we go. Now, we don't see baby face in action a lot here in DTKA just because he's too busy managing finances, you know, making sure they getting where they got to go, making sure no jobs on that BS and things like that. But, you know, let's see what we got here. Because they are pretty similar in stature, so this is going to be a very interesting match. Be more, my man pulling up. Double mugs, I fucks with it. Elijah Church, I see you, man. Hmm. I like the way you say that nada, now nada. That nobody hit that now nada the way you hit that now nada. You know what I'm saying? Can't can we just say employees? Where my employees? No, fuck that. It's where my bitches. Just straight up. Just straight up. He says, Calvin, I know you love the fans, blah, 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 but I love the money. Oh, damn it. Athena say, now we giving squash matches now? Oh, shit. <laughs> so Athena say, this is going to be a squash match, she predicts. The DTKA Women's Champion, y'all. In her opinion, she says, this is a squash match. Pull up. She say, I'm all about the Bim Juice. That boy said, fuck Timmy Turner. Headhunters going in. Oh, my good God. Oh my good God. Pull up. Nothing. Right, right, not a now, not a. Now, not a now, not a. Just make sure when you put the baby powder on, you don't knock yourself. You know what I mean? Don't slap yourself now. And that's key. Don't slap yourself. Making his way to the ring. Yellow point of big cups while Jay Real point of big tomatoes. Weighing in at 220 pounds. Got it, gotta hit hit him up, man. Gotta hit him up. Gotta hit him up, man. Step into his office and holler at that man. And let it fly. Up. I, I mean, he has to be after what happened to Hustle and Money earlier. Ali, I, I don't blame him for being too pissed to come back out right now after what Dane Dollar did. He better not show his face. Sir Scott Ryan, I mean, he, he, he's all right. He's all right. But uh, hopefully Grady can go ahead and bring this one home for Hustle and Money and get that Dubsky. I just, and I, well, I ain't going to say I just noticed this. I think I said something in the past. Brady and Leo Blade got the same back tattoo. Y'all must have been in the same fraternity or something. And his opponent, accompanied by Smooth, Mr. Oh, oh, Luscious. man, I was getting disrespectful. Just walking right, straight the through. The mouth of the south. He's just walking straight the through. Oh, damn. He, he feeling it, though. He, 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 he in his mode. Texas. He in his mode right now. I'm like bumped out the way. So, okay, so baby face is a little petty after that. Like, that. you don't like being cut off by the hoes. I just want Leo's head on the pole so I continue my jersey to get my title back. That's the thing. Hey, I'm pretty sure you would, man. But, hey, that man Leo is pretty preoccupied right now. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm pretty sure he's taking notes. 
You know, I know you got a super, super big beat with him uh, just leapfrogging everybody coming over here to the heavyweight division the way he did. But uh, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? You definitely gonna get your time to highlight him, especially because we don't know what the hell is gonna happen Sunday. And I know you don't care what happens, whether he gets the championship or not. You want Leo Blade's ass, so bruh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, man, that. It's gonna come in due time, man. It's gonna come. You say that man, Tommy Moon, got a twin? Nah, hell no. Hell no, nah, that ain't no Tommy Moon. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie Squeeze. You know what I mean? It, you know what I'm saying about some youngsters out in the street and shit. It's a dope movie. That's who homie remind me of. He kinda got the he kinda got the little squeeze hairdo going on up top. Now babyface cranking on the arm of Grady. He's mugging, and the assistant pimp catches the top rope from Michael Grady. Hold him up. Messiah, thanks for those cups, man. Thanks for the love. And down goes Grady face first. That's nasty. That, that's nasty right there. I say, I say, I say. That's some nasty shit right there. Now, Babyface throwing jabs. This is not a boxing match. Grady says we are in a wrestling ring, my good sir. Come on with it. Now has Babyface up, and his face is immediately down. Now, we know Babyface don't mind eating carpet or nothing like that, but that ain't no carpet, my man. That is a hard mat with plywood under it. And so everyone, so everybody hating on Leo. Damn, that boy got heat. Hell yeah, he do. Hell yeah, he do. That man has insurmountable heat. And that chin lock going again by Grady. Babyface, you fucking... Uh, my beer. Now goes for a super kick. Grady says no, catches the leg, and instead turns it around. Boston Crab, Babyface is trying to go. I'm noticing a lot of these competitors tonight are not having any luck making it to the ropes. Like, if these motherfuckers got that shit locked in, that shit's locked in. Unless they decide to uh, let you go, or you find another way to get out of it. Say leapfrog and have Oh man, I don't know why when you say leapfrog, I'm thinking of the uh, like little toddler toys. Now Babyface with a kick to the side of the knee of Grady. Grady trying to make a comeback, but Babyface cuts it off, twirls him around, and face busted. I mean, helicopters aren't even allowed in the building, so, um, yeah, that may be breaking all kind of, like, fire marshal codes and shit like that, so we're just going to act like we didn't see that. No it's a two, and Grady kicks out at two. Babyface, I don't know why you looking surprised. You need assistant pimp. You only, like, you only, like, half a step up from Dane Dollar. Y'all are, like, in the same, y'all enrolled in the same class. Taking the same curriculum, your chair is just, you know what I'm saying, one row in front of you. That's it. Grady able to get that elbow up. Babyface running right into it. Stiff, and then another stiff blow right to the face of Babyface. That, that's going to be a grown face after this match. That's going to be a grown face after this match. And the neck. Y'all just love abusing the fade, don't you? Y'all, how, how much do y'all hate y'all's barbers? to be disrespecting the fade. Like, what did the fade do to y'all? Like, did y'all barber fuck y'all shit up like too many times? Y'all got, y'all really got something against the fade. Y'all are abusing, like, were y'all not allowed in the kitchen or what? Because it's like, it's not just the fade, it's the kitchen. And Grady comes out with the Dubsky. I guess so, I, I guess so. He disrespecting fades all day. He disrespecting fades all day then. Grady doing it for hustling money, getting him a Dubsky. Babyface, matter of fact, yeah, as you see, that motherfucker ain't got no record. He ain't assisting to pull up. Warpath says heavyweight division was quiet and Leo came over and is making noise. Can't pay on the just playing the cards that have been dealt. That is big facts, Warpath, and Warpath is the one who's in a rivalry with this motherfucker right now. So I know it pains him to have to actually give him props right now, but he's right. He's right. The heavyweight division was lazy. Just super, super quiet, not saying anything, not making no noise. 
And now Leo Blade just came over and then got everybody up. You know what I mean? Because if it's one thing, love or hate Blade is for if it's one thing that Leo, his publicist, and them are going to do, oh, they going to make y'all talk. They going to make y'all feel so low. Because if not, they going to, oh, my lord. That by me and the Uh, those are monkeys stranded in the purple rain. Here is your winner, you Michael the Iceman. Or that, or right, let's make that single, not play. GG. Ready, amped up. I know he's feeling it. I know he's feeling it. Definitely needed that as well. Grady definitely needed that because right now. You know, he's 15 and 15, so now Grady is officially over 500. Grady's over 500 now, and y'all heard him, y'all heard his comments. He's wanting to make that climb back to the top. And not only is the show up real, you know what I mean, but we also got a record to go with it. So, hey, hustling money on some things right now. Look at those cups up in the chat. Appreciate that. But I know my motherfucking eyes are not deceiving me right now. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, what the fuck? This is a go-home show. We supposed to be fucking... Give me a hell fuck yeah. you, both Matt Rice, thanks for the I like. I appreciate you coming through yeah. Who can you vote for in this match? Who are you gonna vote for? Are you gonna fuck with Psycho? Cause I mean, y'all know I don't fuck with the family. Y'all know I don't fuck with the family, but I don't fuck with Psycho Club either. So. I, I'ma let y'all have it. I'ma scroll back up over here. I'ma, I'ma pull up for these comments real quick. Tory Lane pulling up big cups because now yeah, y'all, they, I'm about to text the boss right down now and see what the hell was he thinking because he knew damn well, he knew damn well I'm sorry y'all like I I don't want to vote for the family, but I don't want to vote for the Psycho Club either. Let, let me see what y'all doing. Let me see what y'all doing in the poll. Scott says it's a lose-lose either way. Uh, let me see. The family actually have majority of the votes. 58% with seven. Psycho Club only behind by two with 42%. Five, wow. Oh. Wow, this one has the zippers divided. Oh, uh, damn. Talk about pissing in the Kool-Aid. Good God. Valentine says, hashtag for the family. Oh, so Valentine Van Sice is rolling with the family on this one too? Eight days sipping. I see you, man. I see you pull up there. J Real, I see you with that 363. I almost missed you there, bro. Rose Cartel with the cups up. Chambers say, I'm chilling. I have nothing to do with this. Ha <laughs> ha. Yellow got 871. 
Hold up, Valentine got six. I know it's been longer than six. I know Valentine been sipping longer than a week. I know Valentine been sipping longer than a week. Majaya sipping at exactly 365. Can we get a hashtag Majaya in the chat? My man is life at the one year. Matter of fact, hashtag one year Majaya that thing. One year Majaya that thing. Pull up. Grady got 317. Let me see. See, the, the plug came in for Tory Lens. But I don't see the actual number. Perry's saying 35, but we know my man's been sipping. My man's been sipping for over, three, over a year. Over a year for sure. For some reason, Tory Lens didn't pop up. Somebody else, somebody else pulled up as well and didn't show up. Look at that, Majaya one year, hashtag one year, Majaya, here we go, pulling things up. Pop bottles, whoop, there it is, you damn right, you damn right. Bishop, who has been welcomed into the family, there we go, 412 days sipping, there she goes, there she goes. Bishop, who decided to align themselves with the family, who, honestly, I can say I'm not surprised, it actually, that's actually a good fit. Bishop and the family is a good fit. So if you trying, if you walking out during recess, trying to find out which, you know what I'm saying, squad you gonna go with, if you gonna go with the Johnsons, if you gonna go with the emo kids, if you gonna go with the nerds over there with the Pokemon cards or what, I'd say that the family over there would be the spot for Bishop, you know what I mean? Look at that, Claw Thomas pulling up with 419, and as soon as I say that, they show my man on cam, pull up, and then they cut the lights on him, the disrespect. The disrespect. The disrespect. Oh, a big cup. Jaya says, thanks, people. Appreciate that separate thing. Thanks for me, the Kool-Aid man, as well. I appreciate y'all showing love. I love when y'all interact in the comments. You know what I mean? Y'all pulling up, rolling with. But it's nothing that makes me even happier when you simply are interacting with each other in the comment section. Like when y'all chatting and having y'all own discussions. Cause, hey, that shit keeps engagement going up. And y'all, we had a thousand comments already. We're we about to hit 1100. And we hit 2000 tonight, y'all. So, what? 336 days from the man Titan. I see you sipping. Now, Eliza Church, the head of the family, walking out, new drip and all. Well, not necessarily new, you know what I'm saying? It's just an alternate. We kind of done seen him where that, you know what I'm saying? A few weeks now. But you know what the hell I mean. Actually, what the hell, what the hell am I using new in the family for? Bread on hand me down. Bread on hand me down. I, I just use new and the family in the same damn sentence. Oxymoron for sure. He says, my dipping higher than that. You mean your sipping higher than that? Po up. Rashid got 514 days. Po up. That's what I'm talking about. That's heavy. That's heavy, man. That's heavy, man. See, I know if you got 514, I know Perry definitely creeping up in there in the 600s. For sure. Titan got 320, 336. My bad. What? Mr. Wade says Bishop is just riding his shadow with the... Oh, man. Seems like a little bit of beef there. And they said, let us pray. I'm poor. Now, Caroline Ricks trying to come in and do damage control. Say no hard feelings. This is just business. I don't know. Anytime you're going for that golden Tory Lynn, that seems kind of personal to me. But I'm just the outsider looking in. You know, uh, that's just me. That's just me. Pull them big cups up. The one matchup everyone in D2KA is disgusted with. It's like, bro, uh, Bishop, I think it's because, like, you know, the family, the family and the heat that they got and the fact that people don't with the Psycho Club. This is one of those where I feel like the boss did this on purpose. Like, okay, I know y'all don't fuck with either either one of these teams, but I'm gonna make y'all pick one. I think the boss is trolling us on this one. But, to be fair, to be fair, let's take our feelings out of it. Let's, let's, remove, let's remove our feelings from the situation, okay? Give me that hell, yeah. This is a good matchup. Eliza and Bishop hell, yeah. doing tag team work. Devin, what's going on, my man? Thanks for the like. Yo, Devin, hit my inbox, bro. We got to talk about these characters, man. Hit my inbox, bro. 
because I think your tag team partner left the group. But uh, hit me up, bro. We got to holler at that. Again, man, more people interested in coming into DTKA. Pull up with your boy, man. Let me know. Also, do you have 2K22 yet, or do you plan on getting it anytime soon? If you don't, we can get your folks made up, bro. Holler at us. Hope all is good with you. Oh, look at Tory Lane coming back, swinging. Now Bishop got Lenny up and punched him right. He's trying to take the face paint off. I don't think Lenny liked that too much. Going for a chop. Bishop put his dukes and his guard up. I think, I think Lenny may have fucked up. I think Lenny may have fucked up. Because one thing you cannot take away from Bishop, and I will stress this because I think people forget that he is a former DTKA world champion. So, love him or hate him, you got to put respect on Bishop's name. you got to. you got to. Look at standing Spanish fly. The clown is down. The clown is down. Now, see, if I was Canadian, then the name. He says locked in. Okay, bet that. For sure. Already, man. Well, hey. Uh, Devin, hit my inbox, bro. We got uh, we got some stuff to talk about, fam. Um, you know what I'm saying? We'll, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, I'll keep it off the deal or whatever like that. But you know what I'm saying? And it's nothing bad, fam. Just uh, hit my inbox, bro. And we definitely got some stuff to talk about because I want to get y'all here. And by a count out, the family won that by a count out. Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy. What the fuck is going on here tonight? The family taking dubs any way they can get them. What the? Man, I'm sorry. Wow. That was crazy. Them clowns ought to be ashamed today. They say, you know what? Yeah, let me, let me, I'm not, I can't even, I'm not even going, you know, for the first time. For the first time in DTKA history, I'm not going to knock the family. What the fuck were those clowns thinking? Bruh, you hear the ref counting. You know brown shoes ain't on that bullshit. You not going, I mean, throw your partner back in, dude. Just like, come on, bruh. What kind of fuck shit was that? Like, I'm saying, though, like, that was some extra, extra. But up next, we got Sinister Mr. Wade versus El Numero Uno. And my man done brought the whole damn click. Po up. Big Cups up. Wade versus Numero Uno. Did Wade jump to the heavyweight? Nah. Nah. Wade is still in the Intercontinental Division. But y'all know, hey, all matches and robberies and stuff ain't got to be focused in the same division. You know what I mean? Now, while I, you know what I'm saying? While we do encourage individual robberies, it's okay to, hey, you know what? I don't like that motherfucker over there in the King of the Indies Division. Let's be. Mean Streak and Calvin Rick's doing it right now. Mean Streak is in the, heavy, mean streak is in the uh, heavyweight division. Calvin Ricks is in the King of the Indies division. And them two feuding like a motherfucker right now. Calvin, I agree. I think this is going to be a banger. I think this is going to be a banger. Numero uno, fire. You're right. You're right, bro. Nah, that motherfucker is fire, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Check the chip. Check the shirt. Big click energy, man. Big click energy. The 420 click, man. They 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 deep. They deep. And, and you, you see it. That, that squad right there. That squad. You know what I'm saying? And just in case, you know, you know what I'm saying? If you can say if you, if you, if you 420 further, you know what I'm saying? Slides in the locker room, man. We'll match you if you cool. You know what I'm saying? Just tell them Archie sent you. Or Ruben, you know what I mean? Because he be on that gas, too. Po up, po up, po up. Uncle Charles got sick Making of the green with Archie and DQ, the psycho club. No, Uncle Charles ain't here, though. That's brown shoes. Uncle Charles referees the first half of the show, while brown shoes does the final end of the show. Brown shoes is our red shoes. You know what I mean? They're actually related. Brown shoes is actually, I think... 
brother or like brother or son? There's, there's, there's definitely a relation. I gotta double check. I think he's the brother of uh, of Red Shoes from New Japan Pro Wrestling. But of course, you can't come over here and take the, take the Red Shoes gimmick. I'm not trying to get sued by New Japan. Hell no. Oh, I'm bringing in the hashtag 420 click, DTKA, Big Click, Energy, El Numero, Uno, and a less fucking sip. You already know what it is. Rush Marshall throwing big tomatoes, and this man ain't even out yet. This man throwing tomatoes from Gorilla. He's saying, eh, 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 eh. Now, Mr. Wade saying, while he doing his dance of the damn, he said, you gotta bring the whole click just for little old me? It's getting hot. It's getting hot. You see the flames. You see the flames. Pull up. Pull up. Let's get it. Mr. Wade seems ready. Doesn't seem like he's phased by anything that the Vol 20 Click is talking about. Let's see if he's able to back that up, though, in the ring. Because we got a banger of a match coming up here. Matter of fact, while we sitting there doing that, let me go ahead and hit that poly pole right there for y'all. You know what I mean? Y'all lucky I didn't do a Judas Bagwell on the pole. Rush blowing big smoke. Big smoke while Alexa Rain has her championship. Where's VJ? VJ not holding his knockout team championship. Alexa Rain came out with her. DJ must have just left his in the back or something, but that's cool, that's respect though. We all know who the Knockout Kings champion is. That squad right there. That squad right there. Alexa Rain. El Numero Uno. Look, she just walked right past Mr. Wade. She gives no fucks. Omar Omega. DJ on the outside letting his homies get the shine in. Letting his homies get the shine. He's like, hey, I'm holding championship right now. Y'all go up in there and do y'all thing. I respect that. I respect that, DJ. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I got you. Hey, man, after this, after we done tonight, I'm going to, hey, I'm going to bring it. Y'all ain't even got to smoke y'all shit. I'll bring something. You know what I'm saying? That's for the squad. That's for the clique. You hear me? I got you, fam. Now a wave factor right at the beginning. He's going for this kind of early, don't you think? And Rush Marshall, my bad, El Numero Uno disagrees or agrees that that was too damn fast. My bad, I'm fucking up. I keep calling the man by his former name. He got El Numero Uno all on the kicks and everything. I should have that shit by now. I should have that shit by now. Hey, oh, you already know. You already know. As soon as we done, boom, Garcia Vegas. Like, bruh, you already know. Now El Numero no back up. Delivers a kick right to the back of Sinister Mr. Wade. And now a kick right in the mouth. Four on from Mr. Wade, two of them. Gut punch. Tiger suplex on El Numero Uno. Legs getting a little bit caught up. Now that neck has taken some damage. Remember, um, I believe it was, um, I don't know if it was Grady. It might have been Michael Grady or Elijah Church. I think it was Michael Grady who had damaged the neck of El Numero Uno in the past. Now he has healed and recovered, but still, though, still, anytime he lands on that thing, I'm just like, sheesh. Look at that, my man B. Moore Johnson up in there, bro. What is that? That shit look good than a bitch. Are those noodles beef flavored? I don't even fuck with beef flavored noodles like that. It gots to be chicken, my guy. But that shit look good than a bitch. Maybe I'm just hungry right now, y'all. I'm telling you. I said it once and I'll say it again. I'm hungry like a third world child who missed a free lunch. Like, for real. Whoa, and a urinagi. That man got up. Mr. Wade's knees just touched his shoulders. That's how high he got. Legs just went. Now, El Numero Uno got Mr. Wade in a bad spot. Is Wade going to tap like Jackie? 
Is he gonna tap like Jackie? Nope, he gonna snap mare like uh, whoever snap mares. Now El Numero Uno dragging Mr. Wade to the center. Going for the pin. Is he gonna do it? Ground shoes got the one. And only a one, so both men able to get back up after the one count. Not willing, not really get able to, uh, willing to give an inch on this one. I fucks with it though. Pull up. El Numero rolls over, getting fancy with it. Has Wade tied up, and Wade kicks out again at the one count. El Numero Uno trying to take advantage, catching him off guard, but Wade still in the game. Perry with those cuffs up. I fucks with it, man. Hell yeah. Stay sipping. Devin with that sheesh, you damn right. You damn right. Shit's getting real out here, man. Shit's getting real out here, just as real as that hospital bill. Oh, my bad, the chiropractor. Because my man got his spine adjusted by Mr. Wade on that one. Brown Shoes gets a two that time. Mr. Wade thought he was so, so close. Yet so far. Irish whip sends El Numero Uno into the corner and then he just tackles him right in that same back that got damaged. Yeah, Big Boy, my same, my thoughts exactly. You bet not, Mr. Way. You bet not. And this motherfucker did. Boy. 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 Thank you. Thank you. El Numero Uno kicked out. I'm like, bro, don't go out like that, man. Don't go out like that, man. Like, for real. Matter of fact, when we done, I am completely for you going to HR and filing the claim, man. Because that, that was unacceptable. I mean, hey, do what you do, but at least get permission first. And a year and Nagi, those knees once again. Touching the shoulders. Ain't no bend over to the front. Touch your toe. Ain't none of that shit. Because them shits went back the other way. And El Numero Uno gets another fucking dub here, y'all. This motherfucker is on a roll. And I'm not talking cinnamon either. That man killed the pole to El Numero Uno. 72% of the votes while Mr. Wade had 28%. So that's a 13 to 5 count there. El Numero Uno now 20 and 24 while Mr. Wade... Is 14 and 24. So damn, both have the same amount of L's. And then we're you know, just five ahead in that win column. I hope y'all stay sick because the Kool Aid's so good and the diabetic can drink it. And just like that, Mr. Wade was trying to say if you ain't sick and you tripping, but it, you, you can just tell by the results on that one how that shit can go up. He's on fire! You damn right, NBA Jam. What my say, Dad? What my say, Dad? Fuck around. Hey, matter of fact, throw in a boom shot to lock while you're at. Don't even do that thing. You just drop all the lines. All the crazy. From downtown. All of them. Come on with it. Come on with it. See, now that I got my motherfucking truck, you know what? Yeah, we have to get this shit down back in the day. That's what I'm talking about. I know my boy Jai was saying, asking how long this retro is. Yesterday I had a retro setup. Here is your winner, the one, Eddie Wilson. Thank you. Omar, BJ, and Alexa Rain celebrating with the homie like, yeah, 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 there we go, yeah, there we go, yeah, we all got contact, bro, we all got contact, bro, you good, look, we all cocky and shit, like, hell yeah, that man did that best with man struck, I got all fucked up, <laughs> I fuck with it, the numero uno say party in the 420 locker room, hey, bro, you already know me, I'm gonna be running on CPT time, so I'm gonna be a little late, uh, plus, I got a job to do, but once I'm done, bro, I'll be up in there. And like I was telling your boy VJ, who's over here, I got you, bro. I got you. You ain't even got to dip into your stash. I got you, fam. I got you. Tory Land pulling up big cups. Majaya pulling up big cups. It took an entire click. I am generating all these beatings and feedings. The real intent. My loss is still a win. You will see. Well, I mean, they came out there, but they didn't really get involved. So, I mean, you good. You good. Just like this match right here. Now, 
this ain't really an Easter egg or nothing like that. Also, y'all, make sure, make sure y'all are hitting those likes. If y'all haven't shared the stream already, make sure y'all pull up, share the stream on a timeline group wherever you feel like shit like this will be accepted. Go ahead and pull those up and exclamation notify so you can follow the page as well. Keep up with all of our content. Now back to this Easter egg, uh, or it, it ain't an Easter egg for those of y'all who've been paying attention. Uh, mean Streak and Calvin, gotta be, I was just talking about that last match. Wyndham, Wildman, got an issue. Let's go ahead and pull up y'all. Falls count anywhere, four way style, let's get it. We got four participants, two feuds, one match. Let's get it. And this is the go home show to the, uh, until the pay per view, so you know this is gonna be fucking epic. What a better way. What a better way to, uh, what can I say? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's right there on the tip of my tongue. Instigate these robberies than having two different robberies in the ring at the same damn time. Because somebody's going to have a complaint. Somebody's going to have an issue. Somebody's going to have uh, a reason, you know what I'm saying, for it. Because somebody's going to lose. And I'm it's fucking perfect. Fucking perfect. I love it. I love my job. I love my job. Caroline Rick say it's going to be a banger. The same way she banged Tori Lynn with that baseball bat in the back on that sneak attack. I'm sorry. I'm taking jabs all night at you, Caroline Ricks. I'm on your ass. I'm on your ass. Lizzie! Pulling up! One year sipping. How you doing? Pull up. Let's get it. Gotcha, y'all. We are popping. Making his AJ way Snow say 2022 is trash, so he ain't Australia. rocking with it. AJ Wait, Snow say, nah, I'm good. Say, nah, I'm good. David say, my money on Wyndham. Po up then. Caroline Rick says, uh, snake strike when you least expect it. That is true. That is true. Perry, I see you with them, with them kangaroos, man. You know them kangaroos stay strapped, bro. You know that. You know that. But see, I got the poll up for you. So y'all can go ahead and let me know right now. Y'all can go ahead and vote on that poll right now for your boy and let me know what's good with you. You lay so good in your diabetic and drink your ass ain't sipping, you sipping. This where it's at. Read that man's shirt. Fight or fuck off. It's that simple. It's that simple. He ain't trying to have a conversation with you. He ain't trying to look at pictures of your kids. He don't want to hear about how your day went. You know what I mean? He, he don't want to hear none of that. He wants to fight, go on about his business. You know what I mean? I fucks with that. That man said he wouldn't buy 22 for one dollar. <sighs> oh, shit. Hey, man, do you, bro? Do you, bro? Kyle Campbell with those cups up. I see you sipping. I see you sipping. Hold up. Jay Hunt say this should be an interesting round. I think so. I think so. I love, again, I love how it just uh, further instigates these two robberies because I feel like it's going to give the pay-per-view that much more meaning. Again, everything can be about the championships. And these are two robberies, two more robberies that have no championship involved, but it's going somewhere. This is what I call a banger. Aha. See, that's my old shit. I have to check me out on YouTube real quick. Devin say he got his money on Calvin. Pull up then. Caroline say, how about for 99 cents? <laughs> now you sound like Chris Rock from I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Let me have one free. Now Minx was saying, well, well, Mr. Ricks, we meet again. Hope your insurance is all paid up. Oh, damn. The shit talking has begun. The shit talking has begun, y'all. And we ain't even got everybody in the ring, but it's already popping. Mean Streak is already jaw jacking at him. I love it. I love it. Let's just say money on Ricks. Ooh, we got a lot of we got a lot of Rick support up in here. A lot of Rick support up in here. Eleven both. Good God. Sixty-five percent. God damn. What did you do to get over? I know, showing up in the ring, acting his ass, man, doing your damn thing. That's respect right there. Look at that. My man has a three and five record and is winning the poll right now. That just lets you know. You know what I mean? When you over, you over. Right now, look at Wild Man. 
Wildman is 21 and 24, kicking ass and taking names. This is going to be a banger. This is going to be a banger. Wildman got two votes. Wyndham has one. Mean Street has three. So a lot of the sippers are going with Calvin Ricks on this one, which, again, is... I'm, I'm surprised because, you know, he's been on a losing streak. Mean Street's been winning. This Wildman and Wyndham thing's just been going back and forth. I mean, one week you think, okay, Wildman got that shit in the bag. Wyndham can't fuck with him. They have a match next week. They're like, man, you know what? Now that I think about it, Wyndham is the real motherfucking deal. You can't fuck with a Viking. And then you go to the next week and be like, damn. Well, I mean, you do got the name Wild in his name. It's, it's just it's so back and forth. So, it's... Y'all know what's going to get to pay. Love stories. Girl, I say I'm the rich. You should be betting on. Oh, no. Nah. See, I don't fuck with you. You know what it is. He says, I blame you. You ain't give her a pep talk before the match. Oh, damn. 20 below. Going at that man. That boy B-more smoking a cigarette. Man, you need to put that cigarette down, man. Pick up a joint or a gun or a bomb or something. Vaporize or something. That's what you need. Oh, uh. And from Wendell, Weighing in fresh off the ship. That man looks ready, y'all. Who y'all got? Who y'all got? If you haven't pulled up on the phone right now, make sure you go ahead and hit those folks. And if you have not hit that like button, if you have not hit that share button or that exclamation notify to follow the page, go ahead and do that. I'm going to send Stone Cold to your house and stun your ass in the front yard while your neighbor's watching. On camera. With the TV station in. And the radio. Plus Amazon Prime and Hulu and Netflix. He's fucking with me. I may even bring Disney Plus to the party. Fucks with me though. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I love what I do. Wendell looks ready. The man of a thousand drips. The man. Who knew a Viking could drip so fresh? Main Street look ready. Calvin Ricks looks ready. Wild man more than ready. He anxious as fuck. And Wyndham is definitely ready. This is going to be a banger right here, y'all. This could potentially be match of the night. Now a chop right to the forehead. Ironically, Wild man and Wyndham go for the opposite two. So it looks like the two in the in a rivalry with each other are now on the offensive and have the upper hand on Calvin Ricks and Main Street. Wildman has Mean Street pinned down, and these two have seen each other in singles competition before a few times. Mainly because they're in the same division. Actually, while looking at this, Wildman, Mean Street, and Wyndham are all in the same division. Calvin Ricks is the only one who's, you know what I'm saying, on the outside looking in division wise, but make no mistake about it, that man is definitely making a statement here. Definitely making a statement here. Street dizzy and in a foot right to the face by Wildman. Wyndham going for an Irish whip heavy and Calvin Ricks over the top. Main Street trying to get his offensive back. Goes for a chop but misses. Brown shoes staying out of the way. What's Wildman looking for? Grab the whole neck. The whole neck. See, if y'all throw back like me, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people talk about the thighs. Sometimes people talk about the drumsticks and the legs and the wings and everything. But you know, you really about it if you're talking about the necks and back. You know what I'm saying? Then that's where it's at. Fucks with me, though. The Bob man and Wyndham trying to eliminate the other two so they can go 1v1. Hey, you know what? I didn't, I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that, bro. You might be right. You might be right about that, David. Devin says, these guys are good, but it's hard to shine like a diamond. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Pull up. Next Sunday, we'll see Tisk returns and some unexpected surprises pull up. I think so, man. I think so, because you already know it's pay-per-view time. So every time when the pay-per-view comes around, we have our championship stretches. Every championship gets defended at the pay-per-view. All the time. It's like that. I think one time, DJ showed up, didn't have an opponent, so the opponent had a match at the beginning of the show and had to face him later on that same night. Wow, man, still on Main Street, trying to break the arm test. Fuck it, I'll set up for a back, uh, back suplex. Calvin Ricks doing whatever he wants with Wyndham right now. Flat line down. Down, 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 y'all. Now we sipping. Now we sipping. Wyndham has spilled his Kool-Aid by the hands of Calvin Ricks.
Kicks out. Mean Street just got took down. Brown Shoes isn't aware. That would have been a three. Nope. Brown Shoes too late as Mean Street kicks out. He's still in this thing. It'll be quicker than that. Claude say big. I'm not even going to read the rest of that. You hell, dog. Claude, you hell, dog. I love, man. Y'all sippers, man. Y'all pack it up. And Riggs is out by the hands of Wendell Mercer. If I was, I'd be frustrated. I, me, me, me and Mean Street didn't even go at it. I guess that just means that we're guaranteed to see them at the pay-per-view then. But shit, I'm for it, though. I'm for it. That two out of three fall shit we got. And, hey, I, the Iron Man. Hey, I'm fucking with it. I'm fucking with it for sure. And a back suplex. Followed by that clothesline going down. Mean Street and Wild Man working. Oh, clip that. Clip that. Mean Streak a straight savage out here. Multiple clotheslines for Mean Streak. He not done. He's not done. Gets the hand up and a headbutt the wild man. Mean Streak say anybody can get it. Po up. Then up Samoan drop. Down goes wild man. Mean Streak is on a freaking tear right now, y'all. Looks like Mr. Strong Style slipped on the banana. Caroline Ricks trolling her older brother. Damn. Well, we know how that family rolls. Wild man going for the spinning back fist. Dodged it. Mean Street didn't get it, but he fell down anyway. Maybe he caught a whiff of the underarm or something. I don't know. Whoa, 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 what the hell was that? Wyndham going for a drop kick, didn't get all of it though. Wyndham tucked him in, it was his bedtime. <laughs> One, three. Oh shit, it makes me pop every time. Every time, if I'm ever having a bad day, y'all. If y'all ever drop in the streams and shit, the podcast, whatever, I'm just having a bad day. Just mention one real. That right there will get your boy up. You know what I'm saying? I love it, BJ. It's one of my favorites, dude, for sure. The Wild Man and Mean Street looks like they're jumping Wyndham. The Wild Man strikes were actually hitting Mean Streak and Wyndham on that one. B more, thanks for those cups up, man. You know I love to see it, bro. Glad to see y'all still sipping with us, for real. Appreciate that. You know, me and the boss definitely take notice on that. We watch those who just watch and dip. You know what I mean? Y'all know me. I'm quick to say something. I'm quick to get in that ass and if you just watching your match and dip. Real quick. Some of y'all I got on the list already. Brown shoes with the one, the two, and the three on Wildman. So Wyndham eliminates Wildman. Oh, damn. Yeah, that beat definitely got in. I told y'all shit was going to get instigated. Now it's just Wyndham and Mean Street. 1v1. Brown shoes going with the one, the two, and the three. Wyndham slid in and slid out with a W. Damn, and at one point he looked like he was, I thought he was gonna be like the first or second person out in this match, especially when stuff like that was going on. I mean laid out. Devin say that K.O. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, man. Pretty much, man. Laid out. 
train ran just clothesline, just up. Those knees. Wyndham almost lost both of his knees. Because you do not want to lose your knees. You want your knees. I say, wow, good shit. Nah, no, I agree. That that is definitely some good shit. You got Mean Street and Calvin's robbery didn't put, even though they didn't even freaking touch each other. So I feel like that was masterful. Oh, uh, man, it's your winner. The Vikings. Good job, y'all. And the Bucks. Um, and then you have that man eliminated Wild Man. So that feud keeps on going. And he spilled his Kool Aid. And he spilled his Kool-Aid, y'all. The first one to spill his Kool-Aid and came out on top. That's fire. Here we say, holy oh, shit, window cleaning up. Respect. Hey, gotta respect it, man. Gotta respect it. And if any if there's anybody who respects a good fight, it's that man Mean Street. Calvin Rick say that's one tough bike and you ain't lying. But up next, y'all, we have a title, well, not title versus title, champion versus champion in a no-holds-barred match. Let's get it. Let's get it. 18, 24, and one record. The knockout, or the king of the Indies champion, Mars, have, sorry, y'all, is a whole lot. BJ, the knockout king's champion, 24, 17, and one. Look at these records, though. His win record is Mars' loss record. And Mars' win record is only one up over BJ's loss record. I, that, that, that's that's mind-boggling. That's mind-boggling. But I love it. Right now, BJ coming in heavy on the votes, coming in with six. Mars has three. So right now, the 420 click has 67% of the votes, while the chosen few only got Chutty Tree. We got Let's Go VJ. We got Ready Mars pulling up. Oh, yeah, it's lit lit. It's lit lit. And, oh, yeah, I can tell you by those comments right now, we are not going to hit 2,000 tonight, but it's cool. We hit our weekly goal on the shows, you know what I'm saying? Our uh, our weekly goals on the show is 1,000. As long as we, you know what I'm saying, pass that, we good. So trust me. Um, it's all good. That's just means y'all motherfuckers going to turn up next week at the paper. Let's roll with it. Go up there. Devin said he's got to go with DJ, so he's rolling with Making the knockout king's champion the over the king of the Indies champion. Oh, uh, oh, uh, hey, man, do what you do. Do what you do. Now, these two also have history. BJ was just the former, as in the most recent king of the Indies champion. Mars makes his way over there to BJ and takes that title away from him. So now Mars is the king of the Indies champion. So you can say BJ is responsible and the reason why uh, Mars is holding that title. So Mars turns or no, BJ turns around and goes and takes that knockdown to his championship. And he didn't do it in OC1. It was a multi-man. Multi so he lost gold, went right back, grabbed some more gold. And now these two get to see each other standing across from each other in the ring while they both hold the strap. That's legendary. That's legendary. Got to give respect to both. Got to give respect to BJ. Got to give respect to Mars. Because honestly, this is the go-home pay-per-view. Neither one of them have anything to gain from this match. So I just want to say, I just want to applaud and say thank you to Mars oh, and BJ for giving, this, giving us this match and just entertaining us. You know, it's not always about oh, their record. Oh, this. I don't want to get they're both risking a lot coming down here during this monster. match. And they didn't do it for me. They did that shit for y'all. So props to both participants for not being selfish and coming out here doing what the fuck they do best. And that's competing real fast. Because if that wasn't the case, they wouldn't be holding straps like they're doing right now. Hold up. Is that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That BJ drip nasty. That BJ drip nasty, ain't it? That BA, you know what I'm saying? Put some paper down. I'm saying, I hope you got a slipper jet. Hope you got a slipper jet. You're going to be cleaning up a lot of spills. A lot of spills. BJ, cracking that neck. No soldier boy. Oh, yeah. On the bottoms of BJ there. Now, Mars is slowly to get back up. BJ making sure his stuff is lined right. Goes for a throat thrust for Mars. Now, an elbow. BJ, post it up. 
On the ropes, tosses Mars to the outside. Now I please, y'all, please don't come over here and bump my commentator's table. Uh, my ashtray has been spilled a couple times already. I do not want my shit to spill again, please. Have you ever tried cleaning ashes off the carpet? Fucking annoying. Y'all know what it is. You get up all the thick shit, you know what I'm saying? You can grab, throw that shit away, and then you just gotta rub the rest of that shit in. Cause you can't get it all up. Now BJ with some vicious blows to Mars. Mars catches him in mid-running formation though. Has him posted up against the Spanish announcer's table. Something that has never happened here in DTK promotions. Not one person has been put through one of those fucking tables. Now, I'm not complaining. I'm glad that my table is still right here. Don't fuck with my shit. You know what I mean? But if you want to go uh, put somebody through that Spanish announcer's table, feel free. By all means, do your damn thing. And what the fuck is this? Mars back in the ring looking up the ramp. What the fuck? Oh, shit! Mars turned around. Oh, my damn. The one? Running. Oh, my damn. some problems he gonna have some problems on his hand for sure for sure if mar if that was the one's way of saying he's coming for that king of the indies championship next sunday mars i i, I fear for you bro. I, I, I fear for you fam. that's a big motherfucker you way too much the face is just not mm. scared of nobody, but that's a tall, tall task right there. A very tall task. But, I do gotta give props to Mars, though. Just like what Majaya said, the man is tough. He's still up in here. He kicked out. You know, he's not done. He's still up in here fighting, so let's see if Mars can still pull away. Because if he loses, you already know who he's going to. And if he wins, you already know who he's going to. Rick said, I gotta go with BJ on this one. Pull up. Pull up. Do your thing. Do your thing. Also, Sippers, this is not the main event. This is not the main event. Right now, Mars got six votes. DJ got nine. Is he out? That's two. DJ gave up the three just to lock in. The, oh my damn. A half Nelson? BJ! Man! I'm telling you, hey, ever since shit started leading up to that title match, we've been seeing some attitude from BJ here lately. My man say, nah, fuck it. I'm not done. Got back up and dropped a half Nelson slam on the man. Say what? Not the main event? Oh, no sir. Oh, no sir. Still mo. Still mo smokes. Still mo smoke. Pull up, man. Pull up. Roll up. Do whatever you gotta do. You say, pull up. Roll up. With a free roll up. You know what I'm saying? We go careful, man. Hashtag. Dang. Dang. That was it. That was that day. That was the day. Brother says, congratulations, DJ. Whoever wins between you and Muhammad, I will be waiting. So Butler still letting it be known. Hey, still got his eyes on DJ and Muhammad. Pull up. Now, BJ's number one contender, like uh, Shaolin King just said in the chat, is going to be Muhammad. He doesn't care who comes out with it because he said he ain't going to lie. He's open and he's ready. But BJ and Muhammad both got a dub tonight. Both got a dub tonight. So that knockout team championship match is looking pretty fire right now. Here is your winner, the Urban Gladiator, BJ. Definitely a good match, man. I mean, 
one, didn't have to make your statement like that, but at the same time, just look at him. That does not look like somebody who you can read. That does not look like somebody who you can read. That's a party in the post. He's like, oh, we turning up heavy today. We turning up heavy today. Hey, post, we ain't doing the damn thing tonight. Pull up. Pull up. Now, here we go. We got 20 below versus Warpath, y'all. And, and matter of fact, let me get that poll up. New Japan style. So let's go ahead and get that. Also, y'all, this just in. This just in, y'all. The boss actually. No? You don't want me to say it? Okay. All right, then. I won't say anything. Never mind, y'all. Sorry about that. The boss says never mind. He does not want me to say it right now. Sorry about that. Boy, he is going to have my ass today. This new man. Come on back. He say, come on to the back. He say, come on to the back. Man, I need to come on to the back. Man, I need to get me some material. Y'all, first, y'all know me. Y'all know how I do things. I am strict. I, there's no bigger critic than myself, and personally, my commentary today has been ass. Let's step it the fuck up, though. God damn it, we gonna go out on the high, but I hope y'all have been thinking and going over it. Let's fuck what I do. Y'all start to be going. Y'all just think about it. Y'all just think about it. Y'all just think about it. Tory Lane point up big cups. Jaya point up cups and Warpath. Okay, so Warpath with a 12 and 17 record got seven. 70% of the votes with seven of the votes. 20 below with a 9 and 11 record. 30% with three votes, pull up. With the motherfucking low rider. My man was pulled up style in his profile. <laughs> yeah, I pick the low right. I go for him because his rock top still was dope. Pull up. Yep, yep. There you go. There you go. Yep, 20 below. Yep, and just got a vote. Seven votes to four right there. So it looks like we got Warpath with 64% of the votes with seven, and 20 below got four votes. Really, look, and I think this is something that, no, actually, I was, I was about to lie, because I have given props to that before. The diverse, uh, the diversity we have here on the roster. You know, we got folks from Japan. We got, you know, the Hispanic. We got the Asian. We got black folks, white folks, folks from the UK, folks from Australia. Just, I fucked with it all. I fucked with it all. Just like I'm fucking with this champion right here. This dude here, I, he exemplifies what it means to be champion, for real. He shows up consistently, just, my man just had a match Thursday against Leo Blake. Had a match, respect Warpath, I got nothing, I, got, I can't knock you bro. I can't knock, I, I, as, long as, I, as long as I stand bro, I can't knock you down. I can't. That is a fighting champion right there. That motherfucker fight. Hey, but even then, 20 below, hey, bro, you be in a stylish-ass crop top, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, El Numero Uno pulled it off. Okay, let's make it a good war path with some cups. War path, say, this is what we do. Oh, you already know. You ain't sipping, you tripping. Who lay so good in the diabetic is drinking. That is how we roll. That is how we roll. Pull up, y'all. Let's go ahead and get it. I need cups up in the chat. I need y'all hitting those like, heart, smiley face reactions. And go ahead and share us up on your timeline if you're sipping with us heavy like that. Let's go, baby. 
Yeah, numero uno. You know I got junky jokes. You know I come in with them jokes, man. Brown shoes. Rings that bell. Warpath sends 20 below way back. So even though these are two who are in separate divisions, you got a world champion right here at 20 below who's in the king of the Indies division as well. But when you look at stature, I mean, they're pretty much there. Yo, Kevin Bartholomew, let's get it, man. What's day. happening, broski? El Numero Uno say, I pulled that shit off. Hell yeah. Hey, Steven Richards can pull, pull it off in ACW with the BWO. You got it, man. I Shut definitely ain't going to knock you. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah, Lizzie. We rep big round here. We rep big round here. Glad you keep it up, though. That's what's up. That's what's up. I fucked with that. Kevin Bartholomew with the share, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. That's big sipping right there. Y'all know he ain't tripping because he's sipping. And the shit's so good, even a diabetic can drink it. Thanks for coming back, bro. How you been, man? How you feeling, bro? How your week been going? Crystal King with those cups up. Thank you kindly. Y'all know me. Y'all know. Y'all know me. The biggest way to put a smile on my face. You ain't even got a sense of likes and shares. I will freaking a. I will jump up out of my seat like Dave Chappelle jumped off the shitter. For real. You say just chilling, getting them cups. Oh, all day, man. Gotta keep those cups on full. You know, because you already know how we do. We got black folk Kool-Aid, white folk Kool-Aid, senior citizen Kool-Aid, uh, vegan Kool-Aid. Uh, we got uh, Puerto Rican Kool-Aid, Jamaican Kool-Aid, Mexican Kool-Aid, uh, Australian Kool-Aid, which they call cordial. Uh, we got some of that UK Kool-Aid. We got some uh, We got some North Pole Kool-Aid. Uh, you know, you that cool chill when you swallow it, kind of that, that menthol cool thing and shit. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Uh, we even got daycare Kool-Aid. Pull up. Just don't blame us and your uh and your child pull up to the daycare and drop a WTF on the teacher. That ain't my fault. I just work here. 20 below. Trying to make Warpath famous, but I'm not sure you can make <coughs> a man famous. <coughs> you already is. Sorry, y'all. Bro. Damn. He said it's called T in the UK. Okay, pull up then. Pull up then. We got that too. We got that too. With some bags to go with it. You feel me? Uh-oh. That lion tamer. That lion tamer. Warpath has it locked in. It's 20 below. Gonna be able to break out. We've seen a bunch of people break out of submission holes tonight, y'all. Is, is 20 gonna do it? It's cold. It's cold. And Warpath, let's go. But he's not done, though. 20 below. Making it back up to his feet. Didn't see a end of days coming right in the middle on that DTKA Promotions logo. Brown shoes with the one. Brown shoes with the two and the three. Warpath gets like Dave Chappelle and wraps it up. B. So close. So close. Yeah, got that classic leg caught in a rope action. Hey, it be like that sometimes. It be like that sometimes. We done seen a few people fall victim to that. Rush Marshall has fallen victim to that. Or when he was Rush Marshall, I believe. Or no, no, no. He was that, wait, was he on the road? Or was he Rush Marshall? I don't remember. Oh. Uh, damn, somebody else got caught like that, too. Somebody else got caught like that, too, and I can't remember. I can't remember. El Numero Uno throwing big tomatoes. He throwing big tomatoes. El Numero say, nah, 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 because say, just like Michael Grady, El Numero Uno got his eyes on that belt. And y'all know he's been going and taking chance at Warpath for the long, for the long, whoa, whoa, hold up. Leo Blade coming out here at the end and oh, pulls Warpath down, he nothing but top turnbuckle. Goes for a drop kick. Warpath is back on it, over the head, belly to belly, protect your neck, please, Leo. We don't need any more incidents like that. Now 20 Below saying, I'm just going to drink a nice tall glass and get the fuck out of here. Leo Blade and Warpath set to face each other at the pay-per-view, the main event for the DTKA World Championship. These two have not been, they, they, they just won't let each other breathe. Now this, I'm not sure, I, I'm not sure if this is for Mars running in on Thursday or if Leo Blake, like, man, fuck it. This is just, you know what I'm saying? My alarm just went off, you know what I'm saying? I'm on schedule. I don't know. 
It's not like the man needs a reason, but he's about to be falling with style like Toy Story as he drops the blade down. It's because she said I had a crop top threw me off my game. <laughs> Poor Bobby's like, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It'll be okay next time. It'll be okay next time. But, hey, I need y'all pulling up. Let's get it, baby. Now, why, oh, why Dixie Lee's out here talking trash? I do not know. Actually, damn, I've been taking a lot of shit back tonight. I actually do know Dixie got a dub over the DTKA Women's Champion last week, Athena. And um, I knew it was going to happen. I mean, you get, a, you get a dub over the Women's Champion. I mean, yeah, Kenny Redneck and them got involved, but of course she was going to do that. Of course she was. Y'all know what that means though, right? That just means double the thigh meat at the pay-per-view. Pull up. Tyke Lions with 200 stars pull up. Yes, the queen has arrived. Caroline Ritz not playing no games. Call her out, say her name. You ain't even got to say it three times like the candy man for her to show up. All you got to do is just mention like the first three letters. You know what I mean? Dixie Lee talking some cash money shit right now. Talking cash money shit. Get one dub and all of a sudden they start feeling they self. Athena's not having it though. Y'all know she got a mouth on her. All she do is talk shit. Matter of fact, I think that's what she majored in in college. I was going over her uh, permanent records and stuff like that and found out, yeah, she majored in talking that shit. And that, 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 that's the name of the class. Seriously. It would go you. You know say you have like your reading, your social studies, economics and shit like that. You know, probably some calculus up in there and then boom, talk that shit one on one. That that Dixie D right there, boy, boy. So hey. Dixie D make you wanna have mixed kids. She bad though. She bad though. Athena says she don't give a damn about how bad you are because she says she thick too. This is going to be a battle of the games. Battle of the games. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just, I'm, I'm too much. and she ain't even doing shit. It's like they flex on their own. Like they decide they flex when they want to flex. Whoa, came back. Whoa, cover your grill. Whoa. 
Woo, lipstick smeared as Athena comes out with a slap and smack that bitch up. Damn. Oh, damn. Y'all, she smacked her so hard, the tic-tac that popped out of her mouth just landed right by me. She smacked a tic-tac out her mouth, y'all. And think about how long that shit was up in the air. Think of the hang time on that fucking tic-tac. Damn, 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 damn. What a fucking night. What a fucking show, y'all. Y'all did us justice, and I hope I did y'all justice as well with the commentary and things. Go Home Show, always freaking fire. Always. I'm super fucking hyped and excited for the Blood Drive pay-per-view. The second annual Blood Drive pay-per-view next week is. It's going to be off the chain. And again, if y'all watching and y'all want to join DTK Promotions, all you got to do is slide into my DMs. Hell, even if you got a PlayStation 1 or a Game Boy, we can get your character made for you over here on this side of town. So maybe some of y'all sitting there like, man, you know what? I want to get in there and whoop some ass too. Let's go. All you got to do is hit us up and we can get you done. Make sure you hit those like, hearts, smiley faces, drop those shares, even slide over to the YouTube channel and you can go ahead and, uh, you know what I'm saying, fuck with us that way. Now, hold on. I just heard some motherfuckers talking to you. Hold up. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My bad. Wrong way. Hold up. Hold up. What that say? What that say? Hold up, let me let me check that. Let me check that, y'all. Let me check that. Hold up. That was tight. That was tight with that hundred. Hey, appreciate that love, man. Thank y'all so so much for all the love and support. Again, I will see y'all next week at the pay per view. Oh shit. We're gonna be on that twenty two. So DCKA gonna get a um an upgrade. I ain't even gonna call it a makeover. I'ma just call it an upgrade. But hey, till next time, y'all, keep sipping because if your ass ain't sipping, you're tripping. Kool-Aid so good, even a diabetic could drink it. Be out.